I know this intro is about to be in, it's yeah. insane. Throw gang, we are joined by the Lord <laughs> of the Lens, the Aperture Admiral, the F stop but the vision go, the darkroom Don Dada, the name stall but the money don't. You got poor traits, he got portraits. Shaman of the shutter, he must be an astrophysicist because he's shooting stars. The depth of field pharaoh because he's so focused, man. <laughs> Your shit buns, his shit guns. Stay spilling tea because he has so much to tell you. Man's got a booger on his <laughs> yeah. finger, how he stay flicking. The hardogram head honcho. Atlanta's top sniper because he stay shooting. Photographer, <laughs> Gunner Saul. Gunner, how the hell are you? Thank you. Did you write that yourself? Yes, of course. Bars. You thought that was off was, the dome? I know. I just didn't know if you, somebody had someone We're in Atlanta, prepared. baby. Oh, like a ghostwriter. Yeah, poor, poor traits. He has portraits. It's crazy. <laughs> I'll text you this whole thing. You can just put it on whatever. Yeah, I don't know if you have like a use on like a new business card or whatever, but <laughs> that that's our gift to you, dude, along with a pair of gym shorts that are never <laughs> going to get worn. That was insane. That These was are insane. chilling around the crib shorts. Yeah. No, you, I don't You don't lift, you don't hoop. I'll start hooping. Yeah, all right. Okay, <laughs> so you're going to start hooping just to wear TF shorts. I'll start it. I promise. Uh, Gunner, thank you for joining us in our friend Vigo's oh, beautiful shout crib. Out. Yeah. Beautiful. Just shout out Vigo real quick. <laughs> thank you, Vigo. Came through in the clutch. <laughs> yeah. With thank all you. with um, post-it notes. Like declaring where every single thing you could ever possibly want. Yeah, exactly. Like utensils, <laughs> plates, <laughs> glasses. Yeah. That's what those are. Yeah. Yeah. What did you think? It was just like like a nah, memento type thing where he can't remember shit. No, nah, I just didn't know what. I thought he had like shit for work. That's just to show where shit is. Yeah. He, that was for us. He's like he's. Oh, for y'all. Okay. okay. I plates. thought. I As thought if it was like an Airbnb, and he was like the best Airbnb host of all time, trying to get five stars. Yeah. Okay. But the bottle of tequila with the post-it note that says tequila. That's from us. Yeah. And him, Vigo. That's oh. our gift to Vigo. Spoiler alert. Um. Gunner. He, he texted his, uh, his uh, group chat that's called Slimes. He texted them, yo, <laughs> Cardi's photographer Gunner Stahl's potting my apartment today. Oh, brother. <laughs> um, shout out Vigo. Shout out Vigo one time or eight times, I guess. Uh, Gunner, thank you for joining us, bro. It's great to see you. The first thing that we want to do is a little fit check where you're going to walk us. Fit the, check? Yeah. Where you're going to walk us. I almost were like just some sweats. That's crazy. Well, well good thing you didn't. Yeah, I mean, so why don't you, so the choice for you, sir. Do you want to start top down or you want to go bottom right. up? What do you want to do? It's still casual, though. I just got some Balenciaga boots. Some, some stompers. Some big boys. Yeah, I've really been in the boots for like the past like two, three years now. It's not too hot in this Atlanta weather with, for those fucking I, I just I just like this year round regardless of the Oh, yeah? Doesn't matter. Do you ever heat. feel like uh, being in Atlanta, and it, when, especially when it's hot, like you can't get fits off as hard as you could if you were up in the northern climate? Because nah, hell nah. It's, 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 like, it's like that one... Um, mm -hmm. Did y'all see that one Kanye post where he, where he was like, what did he say? He was like, I dress regardless of whatever the weather is. And <laughs> the guy from Universal asked me, are you hot? Oh, yeah. And he oh, said, yeah. dude, you work at Universal? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't talk to me. <laughs> one of the many people <laughs> slandered publicly in yeah. front of a million Instagram followers. That shit a was million. so funny. A million more. Yeah, 10, uh, 10 million. That shit was so funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> are, the, are the jeans Balenciaga too? No, no, no. He's just like some... Um, I got these from uh, Kissing Booth in Toronto. I oh. mean, not Toronto, Portland. My yeah, bad. shout out fucking Jacob yeah. Keller. Shout out some fucking Cole McBad, the boys. Yeah, some slight thrashing on those bad boys. Those yeah, I get, ones. I get a lot of like, I get a lot of shit from them. Before they used to be called, um, you yeah. re, you know what they used to be called? What? Yeah, fuck. Oh, it was oh, um, no, nah, I'm blanking. But yeah, I mean, Jacob's been on the show before. Cole is the homie. Shout those boys out for real. Yeah, so those are vintage Levi's. Oh yeah, it's just some vintage Levi's. Uh, what were the socks? Unique low socks. Okay. Is that your soccer choice? Nah, unique. Usually Nike, okay. but um, but the Uniqlo pairs well with the Balenci's. <laughs> nah, they just some socks. I was just I wasn't even thinking about clothes. Some fucking socks. You wouldn't even think about clothes. I was not. You not not, not today. Not to, not today. Oh, thanks, bro. We today appreciate of all it. days. <laughs> uh, Hoodie. I got T. T is this nine inch nail shirt. Mm. Are you a guy that will wear a band tee for a band that you don't know five songs of? Or are you for like, sure, hundred oh, yeah. percent. I don't. I don't give a fuck. I don't <laughs> fuck, fuck those bands. <laughs> Cool. It just looks hard. It's a hard. I respect that. Dude. It's inverted because I have the I have the one that's not inverted like okay. this, where it's like I think it's like brown and like blue. Have y'all okay. seen that one before? Maybe I don't know. You, you've definitely seen it. Um, yeah, Nine Inch Nails, vintage tea from Metropolis in New York. Yeah, mm. dude, great fucking spot. Highly recommended for anyone coming to the city. And the hoodie is, I think I saw a little Balenciaga. Yeah, Balenciaga, logo. just plain. Plain, plain what about uh, the hardware on the neck? Yeah. Oh, you don't see the yeah, chain? Yeah, you got course. some. You got some chains? I don't really do too much jewelry, but I got the Ooh. Ooh. opium chain. Oh mm. shit! Was that from yeah. the homie, or is that like? Yeah, how does that uh, work? Uh, Cardi gave me this uh, last year, like around my birthday. Last year, not not as a birthday gift, just like, just like yo, like. 
Is that like the like you know like getting your like when you get the Rockefeller chain? It's like, like yeah, yeah, like yeah. On the label, but I'm not on the label. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was it a chaining day ceremony? Or was he <laughs> like, yo, here you go? Not anyone the chaining day ceremony. He was, he was just like, yo, uh, let's go grab some right quick. And I'm just like, all right, bet. Like it's like, just go grab some. It just turned out to be some chains. What was your reaction? Were you shocked? Were you um, expecting it? I wasn't shocked, but I also wasn't expecting it. Uh. Cause I don't really, I don't wear a jury. Like, right. Like I brought myself a Rolex in like 20, like 19. Are you wearing it today? No, nah, I wore it like once. <laughs> and, uh, you still have it? You sold that shit. I had it. No, no, okay. I got it. But I got it just to like show myself like, yo, like I, shit, I right, could go, do it. go buy a Rolex. Yeah. If I really just woke up and just went and bought a Rolex. Um, how many chains of these are out there? Was it you, Lone, Ken Carson? Ken, uh, Phoenix. Homicide um, Gang? Um, yeah, uh, damn, I know a lot of opium shit. This is embarrassing as a 35 year old. Uh, <laughs> I think that's, I think, damn, I, dude, I'm not I'm trying to think who else. Damn, Jalen, are they all the inverted Jay cross? One. Is that like, uh, yeah, or did you so get the, like a baby version of like what the nah, other nah, guys nah, get? No, 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 so they're few and far between. I don't want, I, I don't want nobody to think I'm like. Well, like, I'm like chain, shunning it. There's in. a lot of these chains out there. You can't, it's a not your of, job to keep track of all them. Yeah, That's it's a lot of, job. Yeah, it's a lot of, it's a, it's a lot of opium people. I don't know. <laughs> what about, uh, what are the panties? What are we rocking today? Damn. <laughs> uh, Calvin Klein. Okay. Box of briefs? Yeah, we ask yeah, everybody, yeah. don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, box, box of briefs. Yeah. And then I see you got some, you got some nail polish on? Oh, yeah. Uh, my nails is really bad right now. Well, they're not that bad, but they're a little long. Is that the Yachty brand? No, 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 no. I don't think that's his. his oh, Tyler. His, Tyler has the, the... Doesn't Yachty have a nail polish brand, too? He, he had one. I don't think he has it anymore. Okay. I could be wrong, it's but... It's like a pop-up. An endorsement deal. Yeah. But who cares? How do you... Like, do you, you go to the shop and, like, you tell the little lady, like... Or do you pick the color? Or do they pick the color for you? Uh, I just be trying shit. I just be like, yo, I want, like, glitter. And then they'll show me, like, 40 different glitters. And then I'll be like... This is like a mixture, like three different ones. That's why. Oh I look, shit! Damn, dude. Yeah, that's why it looks. You're like mixing this. up the glitters. I'd be trying shit out. You do, you do toes too, or just no, nah, no, nah, hell no. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> just <laughs> the manacles. Step too far. I've okay. never had a, a, a pedicure. Pedicure, no. Nah. And then you got some tats. I didn't know those. Like, when did you get those? Oh uh, yeah, um, <laughs> red ink. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to when it fades, it looks pink. So okay. That's my favorite color. So. Damn. Um, I got a heart right here. I got this. Is supposed to be barbed wire. This one sucks. <laughs> I got this in like some random shop, just like walking down. Just like off the highway, just like yo, let me get a finger bar wire. Bro, please don't make it suck. <laughs> you're um, on spring break. You're, you're what's like, the shit it. in LA that where, where the stars is? Hollywood, Hollywood Hawk, Walk of Fame. Yeah, the uh, Hollywood Boulevard. Yes, yeah. I got this there. Just walked into a <laughs> random shop and was like, "That is a grimy place to get uh, needles put into your skin." Bro, let got me tell in, you. they got infected after. I, I'm not surprised. Yeah, that's uh, par for the course, bro. I got a cherry right here. I got. Um, Are they just knuckle tats, or do you like have? No, 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 just just hand tats. I got. Y'all ever seen uh, Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist? Yeah, of course. This is the band that they was chasing in the movie. Where is Fluffy? Got it. So my favorite movie. I got the Jackass logo. Ooh, <laughs> of course. On that one, then I got the CKY logo. No hardogram though. Uh, Are they burned? Everybody burned it out. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh really? Do you not even it. rock like hardogram tees? Because like, I know you got like a crazy collection. Not no more. Damn, it, so it's all CKY tees. I got. It. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> See the way music, the way I do my um my collecting is I zone in on one particular thing. You focus and laser focus. Yeah, Get so because he's so focused, man. So when <laughs> <laughs> so when it was when I was like, which I still am, but when I was like. It was Jackass, like every Jackass T. And it's CKY, every CKY T. Um, Manson, every Manson yeah. T. Uh, Including the one you got off this man's back. Mm-hmm. Well, not on my back, but okay. off my rack. <laughs> off the rack, a long <laughs> time ago. Uh, Nine Inch Nails, got to have every right. Nine Inch Nails So T. what's the current? Of, is Nine Inch Nails the current? current no, nah, the current session? one is Smashing Pumpkins. Ooh. Oh, okay. They just put out a new album. I heard it sucks. They did? Yeah. Um, Again, it doesn't. The music yeah. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Man. I just love the designs, man. I don't. Know. Yeah, you're a, you're a man of aesthetics. Yes. Do you fuck with Jackass the movies? Everything. Can you rank them real quick? Just like, or what's your favorite oh, one? Rank the them. Five. No. Mm. Is there four? It's four. It's yeah, four. There's, four. There's also, no, but there's two and a half. No, there's the halves. Count. You don't care. Yeah. I don't really no. count the. Okay, so that's four. Canon, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um. The newest one didn't have Bam. 
Newest one did not have Bam, so that's last. <laughs> oh, shit. Definitely last. Um, you can't because he, that's him. He was in there for one second. Yeah. And if you w- caught him in there, but that's fine. That's fair. He wasn't in there. You can't, like, that's him. Yeah. He started that. Yeah. Like, that CKY. That's why I have both tattoos because you can't have. He's your guy. Like, a, yeah. you know, like forgetting about ranking movies in terms of the, the players and Jackass. You ever, you ever met him? The Jackasses. I haven't. Is he, like, the one guy, like, the one dude you would love to meet? Mm-hmm. I heard he's down bad again. Like yeah, that's what I'm eight, saying. Eight I just hope now. he's all right. I wouldn't yeah. even. I wouldn't even want to meet someone in that state, right? Particularly, like I'm pretty he's getting divorced. Oh, damn. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm surprised he's still married. <laughs> so four last, and probably the first one, third, and then two. The third one, two, and then yeah. the second. The second one. one was fucking fire. That's the best one. That's because sure. I think sequels are for anything is always the best. Really? Because it's like trial and error. Like you know, like what you did on the, on the first one. So like. So Godfather two. I never seen that. Okay. I know. Well, the first one they did it on <laughs> such a shoestring budget, and they didn't know that they had lightning yeah, in a yeah. bottle. Mm-hmm. And the second one, like they go, they had more budget. They go to Japan. Stunts are bigger. No, yeah. the first one's Japan. Is it? Oh, first one's the Japan. Yeah. Okay. When the dress is pandas, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's Japan. The wasabi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The yeah, first two one is definitely bigger and better for sure. Two was bigger and better, and three was three D. Mm. Did you ever do like jackass shit with your friends? I did jackass shit by my damn self. Really, like, was, like <laughs> jumping a shopping just cart, go down yourself, run down peach tree, like that's, no crowd, with no crowd, just did it. No crowd, it just for the love of the game. I jumped off my dresser as a kid <laughs> and landed. I think I still got the cut on one of these eyes. It's like uh, I had to go get stitches. I tried to like jump off a dresser and end up landing on my bed oh, like man. face first. Just inspired like, by jackass. Yeah. By There's jackass. that meme of that pudgy Mexican kid with the skateboard about to drop off his dresser. <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah. fucking Gunner, dude. That's young Gunner. Yeah. Um, wait, before we close out the fit check too, let's oh. talk about the dye job. Is that been a, you've been rocking a, a, the bleach look? For nah, a yeah, I just I got my hair dyed for the first time last year. You didn't go pink, your favorite color? No, 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 no. I heard that shit fucks your hair up a lot. It does. Does it fry matter it the color it. though? Is it gonna fry it regardless? I think the lighter blonde? the color, oh, I see. The more it, it like fucks like your. Yeah. Hair. I think I don't know. You got a strong hairline. You don't want to fucking lose that shit. Yeah, You're dirty now, dog. I'm saying like don't I get can't. your hair dyed on Hollywood Boulevard, bro. That's I'm my not. only piece of advice yeah, to you. For real, yeah, I'm not. All right, I think that's you don't want your scalp to get infected like your finger did. I know. I think that's complete fit check. Complete fit check. Oh, that's a complete fit check. Yeah, yeah. I mean, unless you're wearing anything else. Yeah, or you're missing anything. No more jewelry. Nothing. Damn, the opium chain. Let's keep that out for the video, dude. Yeah. Let's not tuck that. Shit is dancing. Maybe when you get in the Uber later or whatever, tuck it, but for yeah. right now. Those poppy seeds are dancing. <laughs> <laughs> it's dancing. You can see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it, no, it's dancing. There's dude. barely any light in here. I, mean, I want to ask the ghost question, which is like, if you had to get, like, how much is the chain like that worth? At like 20K? More? Probably a little more. I ain't going to lie. There's some big ass diamonds. <laughs> is it heavy? Yeah. Yeah. You, is that like your, that's your daily driver now? Like you wear that shit every day? Uh,. Yeah, not so, yeah. So if you weren't going on a podcast that had a video component to it, you would still for sure. Of course, the game. So it's, it's like yeah, <laughs> it's my family. Yeah, yeah. rep the set. Okay. okay, that's what I'm saying. I don't really like jury, but like maybe next time we're down here, you think we get some? Yeah. How? Yeah. How do we? Maybe. How do we I get t- opium birdified? I could. Work? I could take. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. My last interaction know. with Cardi was not great, so I'm assuming I'm I'm gonna be a, an ex in that box. But all right, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers uh, crossed, if you remember. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of yeah. the podcast. <laughs> Gunner Stahl, thank you for coming on to the only podcast that matters. Nice. First question, let's start from the, be- from the beginning, bro. When did you realize that you're just fucking fire behind the lens? Damn, when did I realize that I was fire? Yeah. Um, probably, probably when I quit my job. And I at was Dick Sporting Goods? At Dick Sporting Goods. <laughs> yeah, you I did a lot Were of research. Like, Yo, you can't hoop, you're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I didn't even necessarily quit, I just left. Did they put you in like the the weight lifting section and <laughs> nah, these I was, guys come in and you're trying to give them advice and they're like, why am I taking advice from you? I was in, I was in the outdoor section. Oh, like camping gear, like camping guns? gear. Not not even guns. I wish I was in guns, but <laughs> I was in like North Face in Columbia and oh fire, you're gorped up. Yeah, but nah, but that's the thing. They have you know Dick Sporting Goods ain't selling no arc or nothing like that. Like, <laughs> they didn't have like nupsies or anything like. No, no, not just Columbia tents <laughs> <laughs> and lanterns, rain, Coleman and rain, lanterns, and rain jackets and PFG gear. Yeah. And so, how old were you at this point? Spider and all of that kind of. How shit. old are you when you're working the the outdoor section at Dicks? <laughs> Hang on, I worked at Dicks for bro. I worked at Dicks for four years. Damn, how depressed were you? <laughs> I wasn't even depressed because I was like, I just knew that something was 
I knew something was coming. I just, I didn't know what it was. It was, was just, it embarrassing to tell your homies, like, yo, I got no homo, I got to go to dicks. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> I did not think that's what you was about to ask. <laughs> I thought you was about to ask something completely different. I thought you were saying it was embarrassing to tell your homies that you had to go to work. No, everyone's, I mean, there's there's honored work. Yeah, not when you working at dicks. <laughs> yeah, to be clear. To all the homies working at dicks right now, quit so, your job. So you were kind of like treading water, I guess would be the term. Just like kind of, were you trying to make things happen like hustling or were you like something's gonna happen to me like, i was i was doing both like i was like i would leave work and go shoot or say if it was a tour coming up the manager was so cool they would let me like take like three months off oh sure oh oh, oh damn fire. so it's actually a good situation shout out there it wasn't a good situation because <laughs> the most i made there was probably like eight dollars and fifty cents an hour damn that's low that's rough. <laughs> that not, is pretty bad. You're not going to get a fucking opium chain on eight. Politicians get elected off numbers like that, yeah. dog. You know? Damn. Man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But, but, you, so, but you were like honing your craft, and then when did it kind of dawn upon you? Like, did you know from day one that you were nice and that this was going to be like your calling? Nah. So when I started working there in 2012, it was like, I was still like just getting my feet wet, just like shooting like concerts and like, you know, like regular everyday stuff like around Atlanta. Um... We go to South by Southwest mm -hmm. every year. Um, we'll shoot there. And then get back to Atlanta, and it'll be super, super slow. Um, Were you getting paid off that kind of work, or was it not? No. Okay. Oh, yeah. So you, would you get flown out at least to South by, but it was just like... Flown out? It was never no... First time I was on a plane for work was was with Mike Will. And oh, I was shit. like... not. That was up until 2016. So everything was... You were working for exposure, basically. Basically. So you were like driving a fucking austin oh for sure my friends rap um they all rap so 15 passenger we loading it up we going to austin yeah, baby we yeah. going to new york we go wherever they got a show we going they had a show in at the top of minnesota damn. and we drove 22 hours bro damn so real road dog shit it was fun but you gotta think about it when you like when you're not exposed like say if i was exposed to like getting on a delta plane every day first class like yeah. back then when you just like you hungry and you want to you gotta figure it out. You're gonna take that 22 hour. Right. You're not being a diva about yeah. it. Yeah. Looking back, now that you're kind of like have established yourself and you've been named for yourself, and obviously the work, the work speaks for itself, do you miss those days at all? Where it was kind of like, hell on the no. I don't, I don't miss it. No, I don't <laughs> miss it. <laughs> but you look back fondly, but you don't miss I it. I look back, I'm appreciative of it, okay. but I, don't, I ain't trying to be like, nah, I'm trying to go back. Yeah, hell I'm not trying no. to drive to Minnesota. I try to eat at the gas station for <laughs> breakfast, lunch, and dinner anymore. Hell no, I'm not trying to. So <laughs> when did you start? When did you realize that you had an eye and a gift for this? Um, an eye and a gift. Uh, or one or the other. Maybe. Probably yeah. in like. Yeah, probably still the same day I quit my job because oh, I sure. was like the, the day I was like, all right, I got to get up out of here. I gotta I'm go. Too good for the shit. <laughs> yeah, it was like I gotta go, bro. I gotta do something else. This is this is blowing my and it just happened to just work. When so there wasn't like a big show that night where you just like or like somebody invited you on tour where you bounce. No. you just. I was around. just working. I was folding the shirt and I was like, bro, I cannot do this shit no more. <laughs> I, I, gotta, I cannot fold. A I was watching. Other shirt. I was watching a video of Steve Harvey <laughs> when he was talking like after Family Feud and yeah, that just inspired me and I was like, yo, I gotta get up out of here. Steve Harvey. Yeah. Kids, <laughs> he knows this though. Steve Harvey knows this. Yeah. Oh shit, he does. He knows yeah, that he, knows he inspired this. you to just walk out of this. Hundred percent. Wait, how often are you kicking with Steve Harvey? Um, I grew up with his son. Oh shit. So, um, they lived in Atlanta, and we met through just like mutual friends. Um, but they invited me to do one of his summits in like 2019, mm. off of like this story that I'm telling you. Wear a, a, a suit with a hundred buttons. Nah. Uh -uh. <laughs> I had on. I I know exactly what I had. I mean, on. he's dripped out now, though. Let's yeah. let's be clear. But yeah, he's on his. He's, he's going crazy. Shit. Yeah, to yeah, he's bodega. going crazy. Wait, so you're folding your shirt and you're like, nah. I'm I'm, so I'm on my phone. So the whole time yeah. I'm at work, I'm on my phone, just tweeting. Like, yeah, dumb Great. shit. Legendary, legendary tweeter. tweeter. We're gonna get yeah. to it. Yeah, just uh, <laughs> it's crazy tweets. Um, <laughs> and then I seen the Steve Harvey shit, and I was like, yo, I gotta go right now. And I didn't even tell nobody. I didn't. Say, yo, I quit. I just left. You dipped like a Navy SEAL. Just he didn't even pick up the last paycheck or anything. Nope. Yeah. Left immediately. Wow. So when we when we did the Gunnerstall biopic, whenever that is, that's mm -hmm. going to be like the pivotal moment. So wait, so when we're thinking about like, we're, we're obviously doing the hindsight thing right now. Do you have a favorite photo that you've ever taken? Like, is there a top one that you could like point to and be like, yo, that's the my favorite? Maybe not the best, or I don't know how you would describe it, but uh, one singular flick. 
Mm, nah, I'm still taking photos. So oh, shit. <laughs> so the best yeah. has, is, has yet to come. Nah, I mean, it's, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. You got to, like, when the story is, like, said and done, I feel like then you can pick something Okay, That's from fair. that. Let the people decide. Yeah. Not even let the people. Like, <laughs> you can pick or, like, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, it's, like, almost like Jordan, like, he was, like, Nobody really knew his best until he was finished, and now you see all the highlights of like Damn, what he deep. did. Yeah, they weren't showing like. But they he probably has like a favorite chip though. Yeah, but now he does okay. after he's a setback and like. But he could, there might have been a seventh. Right. Right. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. Not on the Wizards, I'll tell you that much. Do you have, okay, so obviously, like you came up through Atlanta when you were when you were coming up in Atlanta, were you like shooting local talent that yeah. then became like hit the national stage, and they were just like, "Yo, Gunner's like my guy. Gunner's my shooter." Yeah. Like it was with Sway Lee was like you came up with right, uh, Strim, uh, Two Nine, Mike, um, yeah, that that was really like the, the like the pivotal like beginning. Do you have a person, a dream subject that you would love to shoot one day that you haven't had the opportunity to yet? Um, feel free to manifest. Manifest. Probably like Barack Obama or somebody. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know. like a little, little flick up a portrait. I don't think, I don't think yeah. it's too far off. Yeah. Yeah, right? Barack Obama, man. Come on. Come There's on. Obama be. might be your dad, dude. You guys look <laughs> a little similar, yo. There's got to be. You might have already met him, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're going to start that rumor right now. Yeah. yeah. Gunner Obama. <laughs> In the flesh. Yeah. Okay, um, shout out Barack. Your Rolodex is crazy. And I want to ask you a pause-worthy question. Who's the most pause photogenic worthy. homie? The most photogenic homie. <laughs> 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 Probably my boy Siege. You guys yeah. look at Siege. He's, he's hot. Nah, he's just white boy dreads. This is sushi Siege, right? Or yeah. How you, know, how you know? How you know? How you know? He's awful records. He's white, like, or part nah, of, nah. Was, was he affiliated with? Awful? He was two nine. Siege is two oh, okay. nine. Never mind. White but boy with dreads. White boy with dreads, man. man. Crazy like, tattoos. One of the twins in the Matrix. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah. Dude. What about like uh? What about like Bam? I guess not now, but like like well, I guess Prime Bam is you weren't shooting then. Yeah. What I still like, would shoot him now, but I just pray that he's in the good. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> in another space. Yeah. What about like Steve O, Johnny Knoxville? I shot Steve O before. Really? I shot Steve O. What was it like chilling with him? He was fire. He he's very um he's chill. Um he's I think he's been yes, yeah, so I'm saying I think he's been sober for yeah, long time. For a super long time now. Yeah. Thank Thank God. God. He got his shit together. Thank God. Yeah, he was yeah. a wild boy. He was mm-hmm. crazy. He was when insane. You're, when you're on set, when it's gunner set, what are like the do's and don'ts? Uh no food. Really? What? Food slow you down, bro. I don't fuck with food. We just had JR Crickets before we podcasted. Yeah, y'all don't feel up. like taking a nap? Like, I, I took a nap. <laughs> he did, he did, yeah, exactly. Did, that's what I'm we saying. We kind of timed it out because those lemon pepper wet, they're going to hit you, dog. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't no food. No food. That's what if, what if the subject is hungry. They can eat. I'm not eating. Nobody. Oh, oh, oh okay. Like, nobody, like, on my side, I, don't even, I ain't fucking with the food. He doesn't feed his assistants. You're yeah. your first. I also, you don't want to get, like, food. some fucking barbecue sauce on the lens or anything, you know? On yeah. The seamless. No, no drinks around the, the, um, the gear, the gear, Damn. right? No drinks around the gear. Uh, don't touch the lights. Don't move nothing. All of the lights. What's the music? Yeah. What, what are we playing? Yeah. What's the soundtrack? Um, whatever they want to play, I, I'll be chilling. Um, do you play the music of the if it's an artist? artist like, yeah. You play their shit. They want to hear their their music. That's when get into like they like. You get in the zone to be yeah. like the character. They yeah, gotta set sure, test sure. it. Yeah. yeah. You whip test your music, you fuck test your music, you gotta <laughs> set test it too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when you just shot like Don Tolliver, like he's playing the new record. Yeah, yeah. To get in the zone. For that sure, for sure. Sense. What are the dudes? percent Do you have to come fitted? Myself? You and everyone on your team. Nah, uh uh-uh. uh. Um What's the uniform when you that, that you wear to shoot? Is it like tees and jeans? Not even jeans. I'll be wearing sweatpants. Okay. Sweats. So probably some jam new balances. Okay. Mm. You got to be a little active, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I got to be able to move around. So yeah. Okay. Like, What's your sneaker rotation these days? I ain't going to lie, bro. I got a lot of, like, I don't really post myself like that. Right. I got I got everything, though. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> but, like, what do you prefer? <laughs> Is, you mentioned the new balances. Got all the new balance jam. I got all the jam new balances. I got... Um, You're not really a flexor, right? Like you could nah. go crazy on the gram and shit, or on Twitter or whatever. Yeah, but social media platform. Sneaker, sneaker rotation. Um, boots, boots. Uh, I've been wearing a lot of sambas lately. I don't okay. know. I'm comfortable. Fellow Just samba, samba, samba yeah. men over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, sambas. You know, regular, regular shit. Nothing too crazy. Uh, it like messy, brother. Yeah, Jordans every now and then. Air Force Ones. 
There's what all are white. The sweats of choice. Sweats of choice. Uh, you're a big sweatsman. Balenciaga sweats. Holiday sweats. Um, oh, shout Nick. Nick. Shout in front of the show, Nick. Yeah, That's Nick. your guy, dude. That's your guy. Best dude. friend. It's my best friend right there. Uh, fucking awesome. Make some crazy sweats. Uh, shout out Dill. Capital sweats. Chrome Ooh. heart sweats. Mm. Um, trying to see if you I'm have missing some. Nah. I, well, yeah, I do, <laughs> but. But like the old, cool thing? old chrome. Oh, okay. To be clear, let's. Yeah. Like you, copped, you caught vintage chrome. Not even vintage chrome, just like. Ben had. Not even been. I would say like 2017, yeah. like 2018. Before it fucking chrome. exploded into the stratosphere. Yeah, like I, I got, I like, I got some Maddie Boy stuff too, though. Like, mm. I, I got some, I got records. <laughs> yeah, I got some of his first stuff too, though. Yeah, when they Wait, first, first shit? if I'm not mistaken, I got this like teal. I don't know if it's. I could be wrong, but it's the first I ever saw of it. Was yeah. like, it's like this like teal hoodie. It's like orange. They like orange corners. Right? It's fire. It's hard. I think before, like now he's Pre-sex. like a creative director and has like this like right. subline, but before that yeah. he was just doing like. I think thing. it was just like pieces. He was. I don't. Yeah, I don't yeah. know the, the like full story. Name. It wasn't sex records. <laughs> Can we get you a sex records chain? To <laughs> yeah. go with the fucking opium nah, chain? I love. I love all. I love all the uh, the Matty Boy Chrome Hearts. I love, I love all the. Do you shoot a lot of fashion people? I know. Like I would say, like rappers are your primary subjects, right? Uh, not necessarily. I, uh, I would. Yeah. Do you uh, shoot fashion like editorial or just stupid? every now and then? Yeah. What's like the how's the vibe different between like doing that and then doing like an artist? Um, it's just it's really all depends on the clothes. Do fashion people are they just fucking annoying bastards? No, no, <laughs> hell no, no, no. And everybody I work with, I've been blessed. They've all been very chill. Very. Have you ever had a bad experience with like shooting some asshole? Yeah. Nah. Uh-uh. Really? Really? Nah. <sighs> blessed. Are you just? Being, I'm not are you a, just being polite. Or? No, no, no. I'm not an asshole, so I don't even give off that kind of energy. So, so you don't get and you don't get it back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's like you. So that's a dude. Don't be an asshole. Yeah. yeah. Why would you come to me being an asshole if I'm not being an asshole? Is it usually you? like someone is like people reach out to you, right? Like it's not like you're hollering at someone, be like, "Yo, I would love to shoot." People are being like, "Certain oh, times, be an honor." Okay. Certain times, yeah, I like reach out to like certain people if like, "Yo, I really gotta like photograph like this person." Did anyone dub you that you would want to publicly call out? That was like they passed maybe. You're yeah. Do you, up? do you know this story? I feel like you know this no, story. Dmx. What? Really? Rest happened? in peace to yeah. To him. Big rip. This might have been when you were at Def Jam. When was yeah, this? Twenty. When he was he? He got out of jail. When, yeah, that's when I was there. Yeah, he got a. Whenever he got out of jail, he was at Roots Picnic. Mm. That was twenty sixteen. I wasn't actually there. I was at the that festival. But I was at, I was at Def Jam when he got out of jail. Yeah. And so, how did that go? I just asked him for a photo. And he was like, he was like, "All right, bet, come on." And then, did he know who you were? Nah, no. He wasn't really ever that tapped in. He was like kind of operating his own. His own little world. So I uh, I go to take the photo, and then he's like, "Nah," I'm like, <laughs> "You just said him? I could take a photo." He was like, "Yeah, you gotta take the photo with me." Oh, and I was oh. like, "Oh, nah, I'm like a photographer, bro." Oh, he then, thought you wanted to flick up as a yeah. Fan. And then he was like, "Bro, if you want a photo of me, just get it off the internet." <laughs> and like, and like walked away, and I was like, "Yo, oh. Google me, bitch." Yeah, I was like, "All right, bro, my bad. I ain't really." I think that was like his, uh, I mean, because he, he was in jail for a long time. Yeah. He came out, and the world had like really changed. And so I don't think he was like trying to actually maliciously dub you. Yeah. Uh, but there's like iconic like Jonathan Mannion photos of him. Like he's been photographed. He's been before. photographed before. Yeah, he probably just, I just don't know why that day he was just like. Caught him on a bad day. Caught him on a bad day. Damn, yo. RIP to the dog, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, probably, that's probably the only time I've ever been re- rejected. <laughs> but everyone else, like, for everyone else, it's like a gunner style portrait can kind of like put you on. Right, that's what it, we were talking about. That. Is there pressure? Do you, it's a do, you feel that, do you feel that pressure to like kind of be, like, careful with the power that you wield? Mm. Or be Maybe, yeah, yeah. I guess now that you say it, yeah. Like, I was telling James like, there's been example like countless that like I'll see someone on your gram and like I only know who this person is because you like flick them up obviously and then like post it and tag them and I'm like, oh, this is a cosign. The music is pro or like whatever they're working on, their art must be fire. Yeah. Is that something that oh, you're cogniz- are you cognizant of that? Or is it just like it's nah. a hobby, so I don't even think about it. I just like taking photos. Man. Yeah. Right. How often are struggle rappers hitting you up to like <laughs> them and like put them up? Could they not, man. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody ain't nobody struggling. Must be flooded. Oh, dude. Ain't nobody struggling, man. They they just they would do the same shit I would do when They're I was still working the dicks. When I was yeah, what I'm saying, you never know. I do the same shit I would do like I feel like now it's more easier to reach people than it was when I was first coming up. For sure. Because of like IG just DMs. IG someone? yeah, IG DMs is is 
people. I don't know. It's just it's easier. Deals happen. Yeah, it's easier to see something now too. Like right. they. IG's made it, IG, to any, every every app has made it way easier to see something like TikTok. And if you scroll your For You page on TikTok, you probably see like a new artist like sure. every 10 posts and you'll be like, wait, what is this? Well, you built for music, right? More yeah, I'm saying, are you hearing yeah. a new songs? So it's just, all of that shit is just super, super easy now. So if someone does hit me up, I but might like, respond. We have struggle rappers in our DMs being like, yo, like have me on, have, or like have yeah, me on the pot or like, let's collab. <laughs> I can't imagine that somebody with actual power and Real skill clout. and clout <laughs> Like, you must be inundated with people, like, in your request or trying to hit you up. I mean, it, does it get, like, annoying? Like, no, nah, do it that? don't get annoying. It, it literally does not get annoying because, like I said, I would be doing the same shit. If I was trying, if I was trying to get somewhere, right. bro, you got you to do what you got to do. Yeah. You, you got, like, thotties and baddies trying to get, and you're like, nah, I actually do people with real skills. Nah. <laughs> hey, no, nah. Dude, ever, don't ever disparage the skills of thotties and baddies. Yeah, that's fair. Man, they I'm, are essential workers. My bad. I, I like taking photos. I apologize publicly. There's no particular subject I'm locked into. I like taking photos, man. I like taking photos. Of, of people. People, yeah, yeah, people. What about, uh, so like, let's talk positive. What are the perks of being just like the most fire photographer in your home city? Born and raised wow. here, came up here, all a f- fucking plethora of friends and family here. And you are What's like, the perks? The guy. Yeah. What are the perks? Yeah, like, Free wings at Jared Crickets? Like nah, hell no. I don't eat Jared Crickets. <laughs> y'all supposed to go to American Deli. That's where y'all supposed oh, to Oh, really? Go. Is it within walking distance? Yeah, it probably like, is. Can we over oh, here? Yeah, it probably Should is. Should we go after it? Maybe. They probably is probably one close. Uh, maybe. Probably. Oh, it's like a chain or? Yeah, it's a chain. Okay. Um, but yeah, so like perks. you get like, like you know, not waiting on lines, free meals, like. Not like, even free meals. Magic City, like, you know, like, let's get into it. I don't it. leave my house, bro. I don't go to Magic City. I don't really have no purpose to be leaving my house. You're like a homebody, right? Homebody. What's like a day in the life? What are you gaming? What are you doing? Gaming. I'm gonna wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Two p.m. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're a fucking gamer, dude. Two. But I ain't like I'm up all night gaming. I just you like to sleep. I, I said yo, do you want to start at two? Man. And you're like a three might be better. <laughs> and now I know why. <laughs> I don't gotta. What I gotta wake up at? I yeah, that's wake fair. Up that's early. one of the perks of being an entrepreneur. And working what time do you go to bed? Five. <laughs> Five six. Is that because you're working late? Because like no no yeah no I just oh. be up. You just be up. Like in the studio hanging out. You ever seen that photo with Ted? Where it'd be like when you just up and it's just him laying in the bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's you. you. Yeah, it's just me. You just be up <laughs> pondering the universe. I'd be up. I'd be on Discord. I spend a lot of my time on Discord. What Discords are you on? Uh, I'm in. I'm not in a bunch, but I be in like Discord. All my homies. Uh, I'd be in one called Meat World. Meat World? Meat World. Wait, sounds kind of su- Sounds kind of sus. <laughs> yeah, what's, you, what's, not, what's going man. on with Meat World, bro? Is meat it like World. steaks or is it like yeah. meat? Nah, to be, honest, to be honest, bro, I don't know how the fuck they got that name. <laughs> That's a good question. That's a great question. I what's what's like the subject matter there? Uh, Boys chat? Nah, hell nah. They just, they like, I ain't gonna lie, they some geniuses in there, bro. It's kind of really? crazy. Yeah, they, is it like talking like, like financial schemes? And they talking everything. Okay. They talking everything, bro. They put me on the shit that I don't know about books. They like clothes, everything, bro. bro Games. You gotta, hop, you gotta hop into the Frung Fitz Discord. For yeah, s- dude. I will. That's what drops. Yeah. Right. I'm let's, a, let's do it, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta come to Meat World. <laughs> <I'm>, yo, <laughs> Discord swap. A, co- a, real cult, a cultural exchange, dude. Wait, what yeah. are we gaming on right now? What are we playing? What's up? I just been playing Call of Duty. Oh, yeah? In 2K. Are you, are you nice? nice? Yeah. No. I'm amazing. <laughs> Who yeah. is the one of the best in the world? Who is the artist that you game with that maybe they're not better than <laughs> you, but like gives you a run for your money from time to time? An artist? Yeah. None of them. Oh, really? No. They're you all can, trash. You can fucking rinse everybody. Uh, everyone, every single Yachty, person. Cardi, everybody. All of them. Are you gambling with like like a? Uh, I gamble. I, yeah, I can't wait the, to gamble. What's the most you won on a video game? A match, whether 2K or Call of Duty. Like we're talking racks. Never get. Ga- I have gambled on 2K. I think I won like 500 on 2K. Okay. Uh, I play Smash a lot, so I gamble on Smash a lot. Uh, Who's the worst? It's not gambling when you always win, too, by yeah, the way. Let's yeah. be real. <laughs> Who's the worst rapper at gaming that, like, just fucking sucks? The worst rapper at gaming. Like a 2K, let's say. Well, DMX probably because he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I mean, not Christ. all rappers, but like rappers you're friends with. <laughs> rappers you game with. I don't know. I bet you Rock Him's not good. Anyone who just performed on the Grammys tribute, <laughs> <laughs> except for Uzi. Yeah, I don't know. I heard Uzi fire at uh, Call of Duty though. Oh yeah, yeah, because he's fucking like a little Japanese boy. That's all. Yeah, he I heard, heard he's fire at Call he's of a Duty. Little otaku dude. All he does is game. Trying to think, cars. I don't really know nobody that's bad at 2K like that. 
Really? Oh, really? Oh. So everyone's kind of good, but you are. Hey, I'm still one. like the. Yeah. You're up gaming until six in the morning. No, I just, I just said on, I don't be gaming. Right. You're on Discord. You're pondering. You be up pondering the universe. Yeah. <laughs> you keep who up, who I'll be up on my phone, orb, dude. Scrolling TikTok, regular, regular shit. How? What's your screen time like? Oh, bro. I think hours? last, not last, last week it was like five hours. What? That is a fucking lie, dude. No way. God. Are you like on your computer? Yeah, that counts. Like nah. your console? Uh. Uh-uh. You're only on your phone. Yeah. Five hours. Is that lower? That's, that's, like, I, I would low. say that's low for. Oh. What's the majority of your time spent on? Is it is it TikTok? probably TikTok? Yeah. yeah. Do you make TikToks? No, no, no. I do. I I like. But private. I like, like not even private. I just like fuck around. You know what they be doing like trends on TikTok where yeah. people be like showing their outfits and shit in yeah. the middle of like Target and shit like that. Just yeah. wherever they at, I be doing shit like that. Just every now and then. But do you post or? No, nah, hell no, 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 no. Okay. I just do like the TikTok link. like, yo, what's up, guys? Like today we're like. <laughs> you do the little leg kick. Yeah. All yeah, showing like all that. Yeah. <laughs> What's your algo looking like? Is it just like big titted like no 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 cooking or is it for some odd reason my shit now is like oh wrestling shit I think no, I oh same are you for real yeah like WWE shit right yeah like Attitude Era yeah yeah I don't know why but yeah. I love, so, what, so, what is chi- what is the Chinese government trying to do so that's what they push is they is WWE like pushing they shit through TikTok for it, right yeah bro my whole shit is just WWE right, right now. you're like, a wrestling stone. fan though right yeah but even still like I don't be on there like <laughs> searching wrestling I have like stone like. I, like there's Stone, I guess Stone Cold has a podcast and he does like wrestling stories with yeah, like yeah. mankind. I see like that Triple on H. my TikTok. But then there's also like Hell in a Cell, like cage matches and shit. But it's you know mankind getting tossed off the shit and getting his neck mm-hmm. broken. TikTok's not really the format for that. It's more of like a YouTube compilation type beat, you know. But yeah. Either way, but when it pops up, like I'm gonna watch it. My yeah. shit is is WWE battle rap and then <laughs> Wait, what? like good battle rap or like good battle rap. Okay. Uh. And animals killing animals for, mm. for some odd reason. Damn, nature is crazy, bro. Like, crazy. like animals preying on each other. <laughs> um, Have you ever wanted to do any wildlife photography? No, because <laughs> you don't want to be like on a safari. I don't You're like being out. I don't like being outside in general. So I. Ain't. Mm-hmm. That's why you stick to the studio. Yeah, I stick to humans doing even their craft. The, when it came to tents. He was selling them from inside. Yeah, a dick. Yeah, yeah. Good. I, yeah, I was. Gunner, you just got back from. Jamaica. Yes. On a trip. Yes. A to job. do to shoot some work. Yes. What's been like a crazy moment you've had where you've kind of looked around and you really could not believe how far your art has taken you? Damn. Uh I ain't gonna lie, that's probably I'm I ain't gonna lie, I'm a very grateful person. That's probably like every day. Yeah? Yeah, honestly. Like I said, I get to wake up at two PM. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's still crazy. But did you wake up at two p.m. in like China and, and we were like, holy fuck or something? Like yeah, that. I done I done been I done been a few places. Uh, Tokyo, you love you love Tokyo. Right? I love Tokyo. That's probably like a time where I like was like, yo, like damn, it's what crazy. What were you doing in Tokyo? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, I just be going there to shop. Oh really? shit, that was just, that was just like a a pleasure trip, not business. I only I've been to Tokyo five times. Damn, damn. and that's I've only been. Once for work, and that was when I was on the weekend tour. Oh, damn. Fire. So, I just went. They opened October 12th last year. Yeah. I was there on the 13th. Like I really? Went, Ooh. Yeah, I went immediately. Wow. You're a fan. What was the first, I had to go. the first stop you made when you hit touchdown in, in Narita? <laughs> uh, I went to my hotel, dropped my shit off. <laughs> That's all the way. I, I do the same shit every time I get there. I drop my shit off, and I just walk. Just go outside. Y'all it's been? The best. He, I, I mean, he's from my mom's. My mom's family's there, so I, I used to go. I used to go every year. I haven't been since before pandemic, but what part? Uh, they're in Tokyo, and some in Osaka. Oh, word! But like in like, like fucking like old people Tokyo, not like the cool part. <laughs> not yeah. Harajuku. I just go there and you I know just, Okikubo. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, no one does. Are you walking around with your camera and like flicking up and like like just for the not, archives or is it not like, even just just, take, abs- just absorbing? Just bro, it's a. a that's the best place on earth. Does it like inspire you, or are you just fucking? No, nah, it does. Like, it does inspire me. I mean, inspire me, but it um, it's just cool to see that like something like that can exist. Like right, like we not the only people on this fucking earth. Like damn, you just Back. get to see like, even when I was just in Jamaica, it's like like, bro, everybody's story is different. Everybody's say, story is different. You had a terrible time. I did not say that. I love Jamaica. <laughs> I didn't say that. Is it kind of crazy in Jamaica that they do say Yaman as much as they do? They. I had a very hard time understanding out there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, to you. yeah, yeah. Have an easier time <laughs> listening to people speak Japanese. Yeah. Where are you yeah. doing your shopping in Tokyo? Uh, 
And don't worry about gatekeeping because our no, 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 is not no. like um, tripping out there. Oh, hey, hell no, nah, I ain't gatekeeping. Um, shopping. Are you do, are you hitting up the vintage shops? Of course. Uh, they got that one street in uh close to like Harajuku. Cat Street. Is that what it's called? That's like where like Nigos and like uh Hiroshi's like first shops were. We're on like this. this like Cat Street. The last like the, orgy. The legendary fucking. Street I know they got this shop. one street. There's street. one street where it's like nothing but straight vintage. When you get to the end of the street. The Chrome Art store is there. Mm. And are we talking about? The, we might be talking so. about the same. That's street. like, well, it's like a branch. This is like the main artery, and then you can like walk off any little side alley, and it's gonna be fire and like vintage, and the Supreme stores around there, and like the, yeah, uh, what else? The Palace stores around there. The palace store, all of that shit. Um, How much are you spending when you go to Tokyo typically? Damn, bro. Say <laughs> again. <laughs> Too much? Not enough? How many O's? I probably spent. I think the most I ever spent in Tokyo, probably like forty. Woo! Jesus Christ! Damn. On, on all on Nine Inch Nails vintage tees. <laughs> they got the, it's just yeah. shop. You gotta think about it when you go to see. I collect shit too now. Right. Not even just not even forty on just like clothes, like you know, like What's old like? Pokemon cards and oh, shit like okay. that. Like, You're a nerd. You're a fucking nerd. I'm digging, Gundams, bro. All that shit. I'm yeah. digging for every yeah. everything that I ever wanted. I'm digging for it. I'm finding it because you, you, it's Tokyo. You are gonna find it, right? Yeah, yeah it's, they're gonna have it. Whatever. Somebody, somebody, somewhere is gonna have. Do you have fans in Tokyo? Like, there's, there's, like, there's, there's rap, fans, I've, rap fans in Tokyo. Or do they think you're a rapper? Do there's definitely think? Gunner Stall fans in Tokyo. I've been stopped in Tokyo. For, yeah, yeah. I've been and they think you're Cardi or some shit. No, no. They, they know is, they know is me. Yo, the girls must love you in Tokyo. I don't know about none of that one. I don't, I mean, <laughs> Say less. I don't know about none of that one. Do you go there like with empty suitcases? Nah, I just buy the suitcases. Okay, well, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's part of the that's Muji. Every time I go straight Muji. Muji every time. How many, how many Muji suitcases do you have at this point? Shit, about four. <laughs> the Muji master, bro. Muji, that's the Muji way. Mm-hmm. Um, let me ask you this: What client pays the best? <laughs> a brand. Yeah. yeah, like a liquor brand, like liquor brand, sneaker uh, brand, not necessarily sneaker brands. Uh, I feel like up and coming brands pay the most. They really? need the most exposure. Oh, they they need whatever. It yeah, takes. they need that Gunner Stall. They need it, on, right? so they're gonna they're gonna pay for it. They need yeah. like up and coming. Like, does that mean that established brands pay the worst? Yes. So well, now I wouldn't say they pay the worst, but it's like. Shit, Nike still gonna sell Air Force Ones without right. me. without with, without you. <laughs> yeah, without me, they still Travis Scott still gonna sell his shoe with yeah. or without if I work with y'all. So, do you have a brand that you would love to work with one day? Um, a brand, ooh, like Balenciaga. Nah, I, I'm trying to uh, do some child porn for them. Well, I was actually in. I'm actually in the process of starting my own brand. Ooh, really? Tell us more, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Is that break breaking news? All the brand from from Discord too. I'm telling y'all. Yeah, straight when, from what's, uh, When can we expect to see this touchdown? Um, well, oh, I'm trying to figure out the way I want to run it first. I don't want right. to just do clothes. I was like a like a whole world building. I want to be like I want to be like fragment. Like, oh yeah? shit! Yeah, I want to just do Funny whatever. Snowboards. Everything. I want to do everything. So when you said that, like, what brand would I want to work with? I probably want to make like a camera. Oh, want to make a camera? Yeah, bro. How do you? you yeah, you do you, that. I mean, you <laughs> use what? a camera. Yeah. So you like know what goes into it, but like, could you engineer? One? That's why I would have to get like a. Okay. Yeah. You gotta go on the Discord. Hey, out there. Like, Damn. Okay, so it's gonna be like a three sixty degree. Like, we're gonna make it I'm all. I'm trying to make everything, bro. Start with clothing. That seems like an easy starting. That's point. the that's the first like initial. Um, we made some jackets already. Oh from, shit! Uh, Wait, is there a name and you can't say it or? No, nah, it's called Out of Focus. Oh. Oh. Of course, bro. That makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah. Pretty fire. All right, yo, tap in. You heard it here first, folks. This man's depth yeah. of field is fucked up because he's so out of focus, man. <laughs> nah, but um, I was trying to uh, launch it on my birthday in like a, like two weeks, but uh, That's I've right. been happy early birthday. Thank you, thank you. I've been a little busy, but um, yeah, like I don't want to just get like making t-shirts and all that shit. That shit, shit easy, shit cool, <laughs> shit cool. Especially when you got the name, it's cool. But like, I ain't really that too much of a challenge, like right. Do you think yeah. we're gonna see it like on the backs of like your your like your, yeah. your artist homies first, like and that's how we're gonna, the world's gonna be exposed. The to The clothing it? part, yeah, but I ain't, I'm not really trying to go that. But it could be like this photo shot with out of focus, an out of focus camera. Maybe, 
Uh, maybe not. Model zone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to. I don't know. I'm trying. I, I want to just. I just be seeing like fragment and like. Bro, they did a BMW. Yeah. That's Hiroshi, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The car. They did a BMW, car. and then but then you'll see them like. Mara. It's crazy. I met him. I got a photo of him. I met him what was before I even had this idea. What What did you ask him? I didn't ask him nothing. I just. You didn't try to get a piece of advice. You were the Yoda. I didn't know what I wanted to do back then when I when I met him. So you him. just were like, "Yo, let me take a photo." That's what you asked him. Yeah. He was cool. Yeah, he was cool as hell. Unlike DMX, he had time for you. Rest in peace. You probably do. Do you have aspirations? So beyond just like, so uh, out of focus, it's going to start with the clothes, and then we're going to start it, seeing it branch out into like various forms of technology. <laughs> technology, <laughs> everything, bro. Everything. It might even make a lamp if I... If make, I a la- make a fucking lamp. Yo, I like that. A lamp. I'm trying to, bro. Is that just because you looked at the lamp? In the yeah, corner, that's what I'm like, saying. <laughs> but, if I'm, but that's what I'm saying. I want it to be like that. Man, like shit. if I'm feeling like that that day, like... Yeah. Let's figure it out. Like, right, right, right. Let's figure out how like to make Frank it. Ocean, and he wanted to w- woke up one day and wanted to make a cock ring. Yeah. To make a cock that's ring. He, or build a set of stairs yeah. on a live stream. Wasn't it 20000 for that? Uh, cock yeah, ring? Yeah, $20,000 cock ring. Well, yeah, depending but, on the width of your cock, because that, <laughs> yeah. that uh, you know, a, a different amount for a bigger cock. Like, you got to hit the meat cord and get to yeah. the bottom of it. Meat <laughs> world. <laughs> meat world. world. The meat world cord. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> the, meat, the meat cord is Damn, what uh, Frank Ocean. I wish we could title this pod Meat World, but we just did Meat Check. So <laughs> <laughs> you know, almost if your pod was just titled Meat World, bro. Meat World. <laughs> Do you want to make movies and TV? Or like, is that in the realm? I want to make a movie. I want to make a coming of age movie. Yeah. That's the only kind of movie I want to make. Like a, na- a narrative or like a documentary? Not a documentary. I just want to make like a. I want to make like a Lady Bird type movie about mm. Atlanta specifically. No, I don't even got necessarily be about Atlanta, but um, it can have some elements of my life into it. Like like folding a shirt and being like fuck this. And not even that. Not again. even that. Steve in Harvey told me to walk. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like, I like coming to age movies the most. Hence why I got. What are your favorite coming of age movies besides Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist? Nick and, and Nora's Bird. Infinite Playlist, Lady Bird, Super Bad. Uh, Super Bad is it's not one of my favorites, but it's an amazing movie. Yes, sir, um, Seth Rogen just said it was the it was the last. Great high school movie. He yeah. lied. Which he lied about that one. Yeah. Oh, that was, was cap. I, I think I think people came up with some pretty Compelling. stellar examples, like all like immediately. But sorry to interrupt. Continue because I um, love talking flicks on this pod, right, James? Age <laughs> movies that I love personally that that inspire you. Yeah, that that could potentially inform your own narrative. Um, I like Waves a lot. Mm. I like Waves a lot. Um, Is that A twenty four? A twenty four. Okay. Good A24. Do you have like contacts at like some of these cooler, newer studios because like I obviously do. you work in a visual medium? I do. Okay. I do. I yeah. mean, I feel like A24 would fucking sign up for everything right? you just mentioned. Like, they're doing the Swiffer. They're doing Big Wet Swiffer Girl. <laughs> yeah. Rock, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I love A24, man. They, um, um, they just, they sent me After Sun. Mm. I got the screen After Sun from my bedroom, which Ooh, is beautiful. Did you cry? It's beautiful. Bro. That, mo- that movie stays with you. Beautiful. And it haunts you, dude. It, so the ending is real, dude. It hits harder like two days yeah. later. It's like Beautiful. a good fucking... That her debut, too? That's a crazy debut, dude. Her directorial debut. Yeah, right out the day. gate. Dude got nominated for yeah. an Oscar. Paul Mescal. Yeah. And the yeah, girl was fire. She was great. The daughter was fire. Yo, shout um, out After Sun. Maybe Flick of the Year? Pff, whoa. Relax. relax. It was on Obama's list. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, what do you think of when Obama drops like the playlist and shit? <laughs> he's like, right every time. He, no, he but like, do you believe that he's actually? No, yes, he, I do, hundred percent. You don't think it's you think it's him? It's not an intern. It's he him. Have, like, Brother, cool really? Kid. It's him. Really? I know, it's got to be him. It's Obama. Like, <laughs> why is it? Why wouldn't it be him? Why don't you DM Obama? I'll try. We'll see. You might be able to. Get, I feel like uh, verify. Like Sasha is like, or who's the younger Malia. one? Malia. Malia is like a cool girl now. Like you could she definitely. Smokes. She she smokes. Smokes. <laughs> yeah, you could definitely like. I'm sure you have a, a Muchi with her. Yeah, right. I don't know. I maybe. I'm, I'm telling you. You, you think I do? Okay. How uh, often are you like posted up in another city? Because obviously, like you're Atlanta born and bred. Like we said, you're low key like the mayor. Like, how do, you <laughs> just po- do you just post up in L. A. for like months at a time? I front? fucking hate L. A. Oh bro. yeah. Why do you hate yeah, L. A. I'm happy to hear that. I don't like the people, bro. You're but a lot yeah, of your I boys live out there now, right? No, nobody I know live out there. Really? Really? I mean, Nick live out there. That's about yeah, it. Sure. Nick lives there. Uh, Mitch lives there. Um, Abel, yeah, <laughs> that that's about it. Okay, all right. Everyone's yeah. still here. Oh uh, yeah, we, everyone's still home. Do you fuck with New York? Love New York. What do you like about New York? Um, I don't get dark energy when I get there. Oh really? I feel like 
Okay, do you get dark energy when you're in LA because I do. people are such fucking parasitical, yes. clout chasing vampires? Hundred percent. Vampire squids, not 100%. the cool kind of vamps, right. like opium vamps, but the yeah. bad, <laughs> ones, the bad kind. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, yeah. They um, like yeah, it's the sunny, but it's like dark. Man, when I if I gotta work in LA, my sh- save my shoes at twelve. That's what I like LA because of the time. So if I gotta work in LA, my shoes at twelve. I can get on the plane at eight here, mm-hmm. land at like ten thirty there, go to a shoot. And then they have like a 5.30 p.m. flight. And then I just get back on the 5.30 flight. You're in and out. That's yeah, every time. six, bro. Every time. And I just went to, when I just left New York, when I was telling you I was in New York, yeah. I had to go from, I had to do something with uh, Burrito. So I left from, I left from New York at noon, landed in L.A. at like. Like 11 or 10? No, no, not noon? even. It's like six hours flight. It's a long ass flight. Yeah, but you're going oh, back. So you're there, like, going back. You're there at like 3 p.m. Yeah, so I landed yeah. like 3, got to my hotel. The shoe started at like 10 p.m. at night. Damn, what? Shoot. Damn. Yeah, it was like a party they had. Some oh, like okay. art party. Got you. But um, And then I got back on the, I don't know, like the 5 a.m. flight. <laughs> so you are va- you're vamping the good kind. Yeah, I'm, I got to get the fuck Damn. up out right, of here. I like that. Sleep. A lot of people are like, come on the show and like, we try to hate and they just want to be L.A. apologists, but yeah. it's... Nah, You're, that's a refreshing fucking mindset, Gunner. Yeah. And you get to fucking lay out on the Delta One flatbed. Delta One, movies, every been, you know? I've been diamond on Delta going on six years. Is Delta's your your airline of choice. I hey mean, I'm not getting on a plane if it's not Delta. Yo, <laughs> I, yo. we flew we flew we flew American down here yo, only because like it was like the times had to work out a certain way and it was fucking garbaggio. Man, I I won't even go to the airport. Someone six time platinum on Delta, diamond or platinum? Diamond, diamond, six time diamond, bro. You're like outcast, bro. <laughs> you, you're still going. You're still going strong. Um, God damn. Yeah, I'm not getting on the plane if it's not. Yo, shout out Delta, sponsor everyone on this fucking program, dude. Please, I got the credit cards. I'm I'm real real heavy. <laughs> what into Delta it. credit card do you have? Platinums. Okay, Mr. The, Stahl, welcome back. Yeah. The do, you like, do, you like, do you like know the staff at like every lounge? I don't do the lounges because I get to the airport when it's time to get on the plane. So, damn, dude. Yeah, I ain't special forces with it, bro. Oh, I got this shit down to science. Like, I yeah. can really teach some people. How many days a year do you travel? These like like at least recently. I mean, post this year? Oh, uh, just this year? Well, yeah. I mean, I just generally speak like COVID. I didn't aside, travel like travel like half of the year. Or? Yeah, I didn't travel a lot this year. So so so. Is that why you're late with the jewelry? Because you got to go through TSA? Nah, hell no. Nah, I just. <laughs> Cause that's my reason. Uh, yeah, that's why I don't wear a fucking. <laughs> you know, absolutely, yeah, yeah. We keep we keep it a little light on the side for the most part, you know. Yeah. Podcast nah. is good money. Don't let it. Don't let the <laughs> don't let it look fool you, dog. Yeah, look at this sick apartment we're in. Yeah, bro. We just spent floor. 40, 40 racks at JR Crickets, dude. <laughs> you at the park? Well, I think that you d- your story is like an inspiring one. You are the Steve Harvey <laughs> of the younger generation. Fewer buttons on the uh, on the suits, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, what's your number one tip for any kids listening who are trying to break into the photography game, specifically in hip-hop, in, like, the culture? What would you say to them? Uh, tips. Um, don't be an asshole. No, nah, I'm not. I'm trying to I'm trying no, to. No, think. no, not you. The tip oh. is don't be an asshole. I'm not calling you an asshole, Gunner. <laughs> but uh, also, don't be an asshole. Like, give us some good advice, dog. I'm trying to think, man. What, like, other than, give like. Give up, kill yourself? No, 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 no. Oh, other okay. than. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Other than stay hung, not even stay hungry, just don't quit your day job. Nah, stay f- stay shoot f- film. Nah, stay focused. Like uh, I don't know, man. Tips. That's that's a. Do you have interns? Can kids nah, like no no apprentices? No that no shit. I got to like I got people that like I yeah. brought along and like helped out along Who are the some way. Kids that are like really nice right now. That like you see them and you're like, mm. oh, like they're next up in the photography game. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know. My boy Chris is really fire. Yeah. What's Chris, his IG? Chris Skylark is his. Oh shit! Yeah, I've seen his stuff before. Yeah, Chris. Is he okay. the white boy with dreads? <laughs> He's what? Is he the? No, white no, boy no, no. That's Siege. Okay. That's Siege. <laughs> Sushi Siege. Dude. That's Siege. Um, <laughs> yeah, Chris is really fire. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what about like um Chris Skylark? What are like some common fuck ups you see kids like always committing over and over when they're trying to break, make a break for themselves? Um, I think. I don't even think it's a, a fuck up in their work. I just think it's a fuck up in what they want out of it. Because mm, okay. if you're doing it to just be like cool and be like a name, that's not going like... Doing it for the wrong reasons. Yeah, it's not, not like going, the love of the art or the game. Yeah, like I, I if really... If you for clout, then you're going to fucking... Yeah, I actually like taking photos, bro. Like I, I love collecting cameras. I love figuring out cameras. I love somebody giving me a camera. I have to figure this shit out. Like mm. I love like getting to a shoot and being like, how are we going to make this work? 
Mm. Like problem solving. Yeah. Like that's what I like about it. I ain't I'm not in it just to be like, yo, like I was hanging with so and so. Yeah, at this like party. I, I ain't on the chain. Yeah, I ain't on that. I got like, my dick sucked at the Vandy Oscar <laughs> party, <laughs> my radio party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, I ain't Let's talk about it in Meat World. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I uh that's the only mistake I be seeing or hearing a lot of people say, like like they just wanna be like this like huge name and they like, wanna be a guy. Yeah, bro. Like, just make sure the work is good first. Like, before you <laughs> putting the car before the horse, as they say. Bro, yeah. Are you like? I mean, I hope this isn't this isn't blowing smoke up your ass. Like, I think just from where we're sitting, it was like you were one of the well, one of a few guys that kind of pioneered like the like be, when a photographer is like a guy, and that is because the work speaks for itself. Sure. But do you, do you see it so often now, where like whether it's like videographers or photographers. Or fucking like um, guys that sur- like try to orbit the actual like stars, like they're just they just want to become like a dude and a yeah. dude themselves. Is there too much of that? Of course, it is. It's always too much of that because because um, I don't know. We live in a different world now. Like I look at Metro. Like is Metro bigger than rappers, bro? He, That's true. You know Metro saying? Boomin is a brand, dog. Yeah, it's a lifestyle. So I'm saying, so people want to want to want to be more involved into that side of thing and just being like a like their own like their own like no one wants to do any work that's why we're, we're pot yeah. right. like, you know, <laughs> those who can't do pot you know like I get it but yeah <laughs> well your story I mean from from dick sporting goods <laughs> yes. to fucking Tokyo from to dick's Tokyo. world <laughs> <laughs> Telling y'all, man. I, I Yo, Meat World up next, dude. You gotta get on that Meat Wait, World. Wait, is Meat World next up at ATL, dude? They, they not in it. And they all over, bro. Okay. Some in like the middle of North sleep, Carolina. Sleeper cells in Asheville. It's middle of North Carolina, bro. <laughs> they in Virginia. They every bro. And they put you on everything. They don't put me on everything. Like it, it's just like it's my boy Alex, right? My boy yeah. Alex, uh, who lives in LA, but um, it's I his met, cord. He created. He yeah, I met. I met. I, I met him through. Playing Fortnite. Okay, okay. By the way, this is like twenty like seventeen. Are you and nice on that too? Not anymore. Okay. Um. So one day he was just like, "Yo, like, I'm about to play, but join this chan- join this Meat World, join this uh Discord channel, and that shit said Meat World, and I'm like, man, what the fuck y'all got? Going <laughs> I'm on? trying to hop on no Meat World. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like yeah, the Legend of Meat World. Though. What the fuck y'all got going on? <laughs> and then he got radicalized. <laughs> yeah. They just, they just funny. Evangelizing for Meat World, bro. They funny like the damn as ambassador. They funny as fuck in there, bro. I'm, I'm sure. not gonna lie. They, oh, the memes got to be I'm fucking sure jokes. A one wag. A one wag. I'm about to show you. The, I'm about to show you the. the I'm about to hop on Meat World right now. <laughs> now they got yeah. the. Can yo, you see? Yo, pause real quick. We about to hop on Meat World. <laughs> can you see the? They made the, the MTV logo. <laughs> oh shit! Meat World. That's yeah, their TikTok. Dude. So now Meat this TikTok. Now this is the. Instagram. Okay. Oh, okay. DM. Yo, everyone at home, follow Meat World, dude. It's a whole universe <laughs> yeah. out there. So, Gunner, you met, you went from dicks, from dicks <laughs> to Meat World to Tokyo. Like your story, you're absolutely ascendant. You mentioned the Roly. What was the first? Rolly. What was the first Attaboy gift you got yourself when you first started making some like actual money from this, from this photography thing? Um, probably some Balenciaga. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, because. When I was working, like I said, eight dollars and fifty cents an hour. That ain't. I was in love with Vetmont mm. in Denver, so. Um, like, damn it! This fucking spider jacket sleeves are normal length. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was. I wanted. It, bro, uh, the amount of like old Vetmont shit that I wanted was like, but and could, could not afford it. I could not it. afford it. So then, when I finally started like getting money, he had went over to Balenciaga. So I'm like, man, what the fuck he got going on over here? Right. So you get, like saw the journey, you witnessed the progression. I started getting all the campaign shit, the Bernie Sanders flips, the right. the fucking triple S's, big ass shoes. DHLC. So do you have like a whole Balenci archive at the crib then? Like, I do. Damn. Old. Old Balenci. Have you shot Demna? Yeah, I have. Oh really? shit. Yeah. Was, was he easy to was he easy to work with? Cool as hell. He came down uh for when they did Donda here. Oh, oh that's, that's right. Like, duh. Yeah. Yeah, at Mercedes Benz. Yeah. You were were you like backstage for that whole process or? Uh, most of the process, because yeah. you shot, you were like on the floor. You shot yay and all that shit, yeah, right? Because yeah. I guess Cardi was there, right? And yeah, yeah. Damn, that must have been crazy. In the fucking spikes, in the spikes, Yo, spice it- had the bulldozer boots. I remember seeing all like it's just crazy how like, 
like the fashion just flipped after like that like particular like yeah like moment. Can we was talk? It, were people walking around in fucking spikes and get masks <laughs> like after Donda too? I wouldn't necessarily in say Atlanta? spikes, but the masks, not even Atlanta, Paral- everywhere. Bro, there's, a, there, there's a rapper on our flight in a shiesty at like, at like 8 in the morning. Yeah, but shiesties like, are like a bit different. Like, a, like a, fashion-y, a, fash- a fashion-y shiesty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, Gunnar, you've obviously had like so many career highlights, whether it is shooting Donda and Demna and finally getting your hands on some Balenci. <laughs> I finally can't lie. What's I sound so materialistic. I'm sorry. Nah, I don't no, know. we're like, asking okay, questions. Being able to travel the world, under, mm. like uh, hopping into Meat World. Like, <laughs> Y'all not going to let this Meat World <laughs> nah, shit nah, go, nah. man. We're gripping that Meat World tight, baby. <laughs> no, but like uh, going to Jamaica and like going to going fucking Jamaica. Tokyo, going all around the world. What's more gratifying, though? Having... Your mom tell you that she's proud of you for following your photography dreams or seeing your photo book portraits in the back of a porno? Wow. Well, m- my mom has been deceased since I was 13. I'm so sorry. So probably the second option. The porno. <laughs> the porno then, obviously. What yeah, went through your so. head when you fucking saw that your book was in a porn? Speaking of white boy siege with dreads, he sent me that. I oh, said, what the put fuck? You on. He said, bro, your shit in the porno. I said, what? <laughs> And he sent me the screenshot, and I was like, man, what the fuck? So he was talk. watching. So now you know what boy, he got porno, caught. your boy likes to watch. Yeah, he got caught. <laughs> yeah. He got caught. He showed his that. whole ass. Yeah. He, he was, was that a, like, are you, do you know one of, like, the performers? Or they're just a nah, fan? I don't know. Was it, like, in, was the. F- I didn't watch it. I just you seen the. Screenshot. I just saw the screenshot. Was, was the porn yeah. being filmed in, what's his name, Sushi C? No, 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 no. He was just watching In it. his crib? He was just watching it. Okay. At, like, well. 4 p.m. on, like, a Tuesday or some shit. Damn. That's what your unemployed friend is doing at 4 p.m. <laughs> yeah, on a Tuesday. Tuesday. Just watching that shit, Just bro. fucking cranking off, dude. Would you ever shoot porn? I mean, you mentioned how like out of focus nah. you want to get into everything. <laughs> like, is pornography off limits? I, nah, I ain't shooting no porn. No? Bro. Hell nah. You don't think you could snap? I don't like seeing people have sex, bro. I ain't into that. <laughs> Just general as a blanket statement. I don't like seeing also, it's got a, people Also, I know it smells crazy in there. <laughs> yeah, like I... All the fluids and shit I ain't into. Yeah, I was gonna bro. say, what was the like fidelity of that book? Was it fucking dripping? Like, was it all fucked up? Better hope it, was, it had like a laminate cover. On yeah, it for real, dude. Right? Because that was so. the first cover. That was a that was the first edition. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully it wasn't signed. I don't know. <laughs> Are we gonna see another uh, photography <laughs> book anytime soon from Gunnar Stahl? For sure. I'm working on a. Uh, I'm working on one right now. Let's fucking go. Is it gonna be? What's like the evolution from portraits? I want to zone in on more, as like of a central subject. Okay. Mm. Oh shit! Yeah, it's so like a true, like a documentary journey, documenting their journey. Right? Yeah, I, I got really inspired by Virgil's last book. Mm. Um, the R. R. the what's the one where it has the photo of him holding the of him holding the book, and that's the cover. Ideas, or yeah, yeah. Have y'all seen that book? Yeah, I have it, bro. He had is he yeah, literally he, he documented every. Bro, it's so much like documentation. Like in no there. stone went unturned in terms of documentation. I mean, it's like his entire creative process laid out in like a Bible format. It's crazy to think about. I'm like, damn, I want to do that for for someone else. So. Oh, okay. So like every like you want to like lay out the blueprint for somebody else to follow. Nah, not even. I just want to highlight someone. Oh, got it. And show their like particular like who do you? Oh shit! Those. So like a Demna, a Hiroshi. Some there we go. Something do you have like someone that. in mind that you would like? Who do you? I do. I do. And have you started that process or? Yeah, yeah for oh, sure. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is it, are they, I don't obviously want to give too much. They don't, they don't make music. They don't make music. No, no. They're in music. They don't make music. Hmm. Yeah. So like, is it we a- don't got to guess. Is I, it A-E? Scooter Braun? <laughs> nah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah. Is it A-E? <laughs> da 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 mean? Nah, not like a manager. No, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, well, we did see you tweet about the <laughs> book being in porn. I, you were <laughs> all time Twitter presence. Have you ever had to delete anything because it was like too out of pocket? For sure. Oh, yeah? yeah? I got, well, they asked, I was going to work with this one brand, I ain't going to say no names, but they asked me to delete all my tweets about something. About that like brand? their brand? Yeah. No, 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 not even about the brand, just about something yeah, that they didn't. With tech and Nah, something that they just didn't find fit, but it was just like a, a funny ass tweet. It wasn't like I was like. Were you pressed or were you like, nah, I'll share, I'll get rid of it or? I didn't delete it. I oh, no. Like, oh. It was too much of a banger. It was uh, just some crazy ass tweets. I was like, nah, <laughs> these shit's got to stay because somebody's going to see these shits when yeah. they when It's going to the Louvre. Do you, yeah. have, do you have a favorite tweet? A favorite tweet? Nah, I don't. Can it's you like, read us maybe some of your drafts right now? Yeah, we're, I don't got no drafts. Tweet. I don't really use Twitter like that. Yeah, no no, but you don't have any drafts right now? You, you got just, nothing? You just let it fly? I don't have no drafts. You let it spray? Uh-uh, I can't, I don't even be. 
man. I was Did like, you end up working with the brand? Yeah, what happened? No, no, I didn't. Damn, really? I was just like, I don't feel like doing What was that tweets. bag? What was that bag looking like? I don't remember. And you can't even remember the tweet, so it's like, did it have big stats on it? Yeah. Okay. I had no it wasn't even about the stats. It was like <laughs> what was said in the tweets. I was just like, bro, this I can't. This is real shit. This is too hard. Can't delete this, bro. <laughs> I've had, I've done like, asked to do like political campaigns. I've been asked to delete tweets about like Trump and like shit like that. Mm, right? Interesting. Yeah. Have you ever, I mean, you're such a fucking prolific tweeter and spitting heat on the TL. <laughs> have you ever had any aspirations of rapping? No. Do you Never. have bars? No. Fuck no. You ever uh, pick up any skills just by osmosis, yeah. by being surrounded by some of the biggest talent in the world? I don't never. I don't like being in front of no camera. I don't, I don't like my voice. I don't, you don't like your you voice. Sound you good, bro. Great voice. Dulcet tones. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> nah. Because nah. like the, you know, based on the tweets, like Jane is saying, like we got heat. You put it on fucking heat. wax. You got right? the wordplay. You got. See, got I used to wit. think. I used to think that like tweeting would like bring me something. You know what I'm saying? As in like a besides grief. <laughs> not even that. Something I could like. I could write a show for like Adult Swim or something, mm. or something like that. And you like, don't believe that anymore. You still believe that? Hell, it would have happened. Some somebody <laughs> would have. Bro, there was a f- that fucking A twenty four movie about the strippers down in Florida. That was a, oh, that was a, twi- a Zola. tweet. Zola, Zola. Yeah, that was a Twitter Where? thread. Yeah, remember that? Zola See, movie? that's what I'm saying. Like, none, no shit like that ever happened to me. So I'm like, I'm not tweeting no more. Like, I don't, I don't Yo, care honestly, to tweet. I mean, they made the ASAP Yams book of tweets. Like, yeah, they made, I mean, he's the made goat, the, It's made the they made the Gunner Stall uh, book of tweets. That's Yo, cool, but like, hard, bro. That's cool, but like, bro, I. I done said some shit, like some real, like, like shit. Like, well, you so, want it to turn into something bigger. Something like somebody to ask me to do something else other than, like, you know what I'm saying? What's the shit about, was, were you getting dumb on mushrooms and a Tekken character popped up in the corner? What the fuck? <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Why I can't, <laughs> what the why I can't, bro, that should picture be, why that. Why can't that be a show? That should be an animation. That should be yeah. like a, a anime. Exactly. I need we to should be. at least put Gunner as an unlockable character in the next Tekken, yeah. at the very least. Something. Get his dick sucked on mushrooms. Dude. What character <laughs> was it that popped up? Yoshi Mitsu. <laughs> <laughs> Yoshi Mitsu. Wait, was that is that Could based you, on a true story? True hallucination? No, nah, hell no. Nah. Just from the your the deepest. That's what I'm saying. I was parts just, of your brain. I was this just, is just your imagination at play. Exactly, and nobody ever saw what I was trying to do. I wanted me to <laughs> See, the, to the do something advanced. I was gonna ask if your dick wilted when you saw the Tekken character, but I guess. Nah. You didn't. You get there. Yeah, no, nah, it wasn't, it wasn't real. Yeah, yeah, dude, hang that one. Hang that tweet in the Meat World rap. In the rap. Yeah, yeah, that's there. where, yep. There yeah. we go. <laughs> well, off Twitter, off the timeline, you deal with a lot of celebrities in your work and in your personal life. Who do you think are the most stylish celebrities out there right now? Um, the most stylish celebrities. Yeah, yeah. that maybe like inspire you because that's a, are so I like next uh, level. Adam Sandler. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sandman. Sandman. I ain't gonna lie. I fuck with Pete Davidson because he just be throwing on shit. Mm. I ain't gonna lie. Mr. I, motherfucker. I don't, yeah, I don't like people that like put like too much effort into shit. Try too hard. Yeah, you could what tell when do, someone. We learned this yesterday, actually. Right? Yesterday or two days? Yeah, yesterday. yesterday is that, uh, yeah, yeah. He will intentionally just wear um, just sweatpants. Pete, this is Pete Davidson. Sweatpants so that his fucking meat can show be swinging. The meat. So that the world, the world knows. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I put, like... Putting uh, the print on display, dude. Putting the print on a pedestal. <laughs> I like Summer Walker swag. Ooh, like, uh, for sure. I like the ratchet type swag. Yeah. I ain't saying she ratchet, but like, right, right. I just, just like that. She from here, so it's yeah. like, I like that. Like, you what, know what I'm saying? What do you That's think, what, as a guy with the opium chain around his neck, like the, <laughs> with the, you know, the fucking <laughs> dancing, the fucking good shit, the, 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 poppy the, the dancing. six figure shit, what do you think of all these kids that like copy the opium swag and like the bargain bin way, posting that's, all crazy on Instagram? and That's what they, that's what they there for, man. That's what. Yeah. I mean that's the that's the oh they they new young money like that's what it is. They're just like inspiring a generation. It comes inspiring, to the territory. Inspiring a generation. That's all. That's what that's what we here to do. Everyone okay. knows that like Cardi's fits are crazy. Like when he's in front of the camera, but like when he's just chilling at home, is he in those? Is he in the fucking like clown makeup? And, like, <laughs> nah. Uh-huh. <laughs> like the crazy Ricks. Nah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He's just bulling in like sweatpants. Hey man, I don't know. I don't know, man. That's that's the. What is know. that fucking the castle Transylvania, dude? Yeah, who are, who are some who are some celebrities that maybe people hold up as like fashion icons, like very swaggy individuals that you're just not fucking with their shit personally? Ooh, I don't, <laughs> I don't like dissing people, man. That's that's not fucked dissing, up. It's just like maybe like nah, you, it's that just, they hold like so people that like that like they're held up as like the guys and girls, and for you you're just like eh, not for me. I prefer to go with Adam Sandler and Summer <laughs> and, Walker. And Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. <laughs> I don't know. 
I'm trying to think. You have no hate in your heart at all. This is nah, bro. Because everything is, it's, it's an audience for everything, bro. You you I never guess that's true. You never, ever, ever know. Like That's your jacket. True. Like, I love your jacket. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, this audience, I'm audience. Appreciate like, that. Jacket. Yeah, it's full of compliments. I love that shirt, too. That's my grandmother's name. Oh, really? Mildred? Mildred. Shout out Mildred. Best oh, white barber shop in fucking the five boroughs. Yeah. Where is it? Uh, Ridge Street. 124 Lower Ridge Street. Side. Lower yeah. Side, Manhattan. Mildred. Shout out Rob. Shout out Eric. <laughs> That's a barbershop shirt? Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. It's the best barbershop. The best white barbershop in New York. They got, they got good merch, too. Shout out the boys. That's family yeah. right there. And they, they got a vintage operation too. Mm-hmm. They got good tees, like good work wear and shit. You would fuck for, for sure, yeah. Okay. My girlfriend got a, a vintage Elvis shirt from them. That's fire. <laughs> I wish I had picked up. Actually, I think I didn't. She like stole it from me. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> she got us this crib, so it's even. Beautiful. Um, who's the most fun rapper to kick it with? <laughs> the like most fun a, rapper to kick yeah. it. With. You got a free day. It's two thirty. You're up out of bed. The most fun rapper to kick it with. I don't know, man. I don't really, I don't really hang out with rappers like really? that. Nah. They must like you though. They want to keep you around. Yeah, or is but it just for the flicks? Nah, like, not, even just, sucks, bro. not even just sucks. Not even just, not even just for the flicks. Uh, most fun. Like who's always just like a happy go lucky good yeah. time? Like they isn't text gonna you be your eyes light up. Yeah, I don't think nobody texts you. My eyes light up, <laughs> but um, this man's cool. I'm trying to think. Most fun. Like yeah, Nav. Nav? Nav. Yo, bro. Nav's in town tonight. You going right? to the show? Nav got a show tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta go. I don't got no choice. I gotta go. Yo, real quick. So, our host, Vigo, he's going to the show with his boy. What? Yeah. I think you guys, I think to return the favor of, of lending us his beautiful home. <laughs> he likes fucking, Nav? He loves he Nav. Loves Nav. <laughs> Flicko with Nav? Him yeah. And Nav? Wait, Nav didn't let you know that he's in your city? He didn't check in? He didn't check in with the mayor? I ain't been on my phone. My phone don't do not disturb. Mm. Oh, damn. Best Shit. way to operate. Why is Nav so fun though? Is he just like a, a fun? He just always got great energy, great high energy. I've never seen him down. He's always we were, smiling. We were talking about it earlier. He seems like everyone's everyone everyone's favorite Nav. rapper is fa- he's their favorite rapper, right? Like, bro, yeah, everyone loves Nav. What do you think of his Dusty Caesar? What you, his hair? Yeah. What do you think? Of his I hair? love his hair. Oh yeah. If yeah, grass well, I love Nav. <laughs> if he's in New York, maybe he can hit up Milton. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <for laughs> hit up Milton. <laughs> Tape this man up, dude. Shout out Nav. They do brown boy hair too. Could you get Nav on the pot? Could, we, could you like help us book Nav? Yeah. I, What's, I, I is your Rolodex, cra- your Rolodex must be crazy. Maybe. I, I mean, know. if you got like the weekend's number in your phone, you're Gucci. You got everyone in there except Obama. Except Obama. Yeah. We got to we gotta figure out a way to. to <laughs> <laughs> What's something about Nav that might surprise people? Because like I think people have this certain perception of him and he doesn't necessarily put himself out um, that yeah. much. But like Lawrence is saying, he is everyone's favorite rapper. Every rapper's favorite rapper. He's amazing at Call of Duty. <laughs> really? Is he nicer than you? I feel like people he's not would better than me. That. But he's, he's not better than you. He's really good though. I think he, if I'm not mistaken, he's really good at CS:GO. Oh shit! Really? So he's like on a gaming rig, like PC shit. Oh, for sure, for shit. sure. Yeah. For sure, for so sure. when you guys are chilling, um, like when you see him tonight, is it? Are you guys just gaming or like what are you doing? Uh, well, tonight he got a show, so we probably just so he's like in the zone. Yeah. Probably just but when you guys are just like goofing off and being silly little billies, like <laughs> what are you guys doing? Laughing, he yeah. probably joning me about my big ass boots or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> what is what is what is his style like? I don't even know. Um, Nav, I'm not gonna lie. Nav is Nav style. Uh, logos. I wouldn't even say necessarily like, like a lot of like logos. He's like he's real big into designer though. Like yeah, I'm really not design. He's not a, he's not flashy, but like yeah. he's real big into Cartier like, Cartier frames like too. Yeah, frames. Yeah, frames. On the fucking, yeah. yeah. Glasses, glasses collection is crazy. In front of the Edgar, the Edgar, crazy yeah, under the Edgar Ridge, crazy glasses yeah. collection. <laughs> do you have a? Do you have like any rappers in Atlanta that you think are kind of bubbling that like you are you have your eye on right now that like might be next up? Yeah, could you put us on? Um, Hard Rock is fire. Yeah, oh, shit. Yeah, Hard Rock is fire. Um, Hard, hard rock. rock. Yeah, Hard Rock. Everyone go type Hard Rock into Spotify and get those dreams up. Hard Rock is fire. Tell uh, me I think he's out of Atlanta. I can't. I think he is, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, out of Atlanta. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hard Rock. Okay. Shout out Hard Rock. <laughs> You're welcome. Gunner, you are a vintage tea aficionado. I am. How mm-hmm. many do you own? Too many. It's over, like, I can't even get to half of them. Like a thousand? Not a thousand, but like. A few hundred? Yeah, a few hundred. All black? Primarily? Nah, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Primarily, but not all black. Do you have a storage unit? What's the What's the... Just in, in the my, crib? In my closet, bro. He had no room the to podcast because he's just fucking, there's too many T's, dude. 
Bro, your, closet be, egos. your closet must be stuffed to the gills. It is. It's overflowing. Will you ever sell any of them, or they're like, is it I would. Stuff? Okay. Because that would be a cool, like, fucking pop up. Is like, yo, Gunner Gunner's? closet sale? Yeah, like, curated by Gunner. Like, that'd be sick. I probably wouldn't sell, like, the Jackass collection and CK no, no, Lock well, collection, I mean, but, just, like, I'm sure you just got like, a bunch of dupes, too, right? There's got to be duplicates and shit. I got some, yeah, some duplicates of certain What's shit. What's the most you've ever spent on one single vintage tee? Oof. And please hmm. spare no expense in being completely honest with our probably 18 like million listeners. 850. Okay. What, what was it? Um, it was this old Rage Against the Machine shirt. Ooh, was it the one with the Molotov cocktail? Nah, it's okay. this one that's like, it's like long sleeve, oh, which sure. is why I, I bought. It. I'm like, what the fuck is long sleeve? Yeah. Um, it says like Rage down the side, and it's got like a logo on the back, and it says like something cursive. Okay. Mm. In the front, but um, I think that's the most that I spent for fifty. Damn, that's not bad. That's like that's typical, crazy. like how people tax on shit like I mean, that that's now. Like a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no, it's not like <laughs> but that's on not a like t-shirt some, on the old t-shirt. I mean, maybe a lot money. of money if you're not a famous photographer or a famous podcaster, but yeah. like, <laughs> for the most yeah. part, a civilian. That's a lot. Do that's you have rent. Do you have one vintage tea grail that you're still looking hunting after? Yeah, the uh, Siamese Dream. Uh, oh yeah, like, smashing pumpkin tea with the two kids. Yeah. on the front. I feel like you could find that, but you're gonna in my size. Oh, what's that? Uh, like a Extra medium, small? like okay. you said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like Child's he's medium. Tall? He's no, tall. I know he's very. He's quite tall. Yeah. Like a medium or like a large, but they usually I'm sure it's fine. Double XL, XL. Yeah. You don't like, think you could fucking hit up Billy Corgan and get yourself a? <laughs> Who's that? The, the lead, lead singer, singer of Smashing Pumpkins. Smash oh. Pumpkins. <laughs> he's the bald guy. No, 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 no. It's not, actually it's perfect that you didn't know. If yeah. you knew, it would actually. A joke I, be I look. I look. A, I, I want that shirt a lot. I want. I want. I want to start. Find an old talking head shit too. Ooh, that's gonna be hard. Your talking that's heads like, era, yeah. That's that's like decades ago. Decades What's the before. lead singer? David Byrne. David Byrne. I saw him at Coachella. Did you say with, the, with good? the big white hair? Yeah, he's fire. He had a set at Coachella. One of like the one of the few oh, he was times doing I went. The, what's the play? American was, something. Yeah, American Dreamer. I don't know whatever the fuck. Um, I saw him at Coachella. That'd be a fire portrait for you if you start doing mm-hmm. like classic rock white men. Yeah, I know that'd be cool. Do you listen? What's what's the music you listen to that like m- might surprise people besides like hard rock and fucking <laughs> opium and gang and like uh, like do you listen to talking? He- do you listen to any of these bands? Once in a lifetime is one of my favorite songs. Great song, um, classic. Good karaoke song. I've listened to a lot of Scissor. Ooh, yeah, a lot of Scissor. I mean, You're not offended as a man. It's quite toxic. <laughs> nah, I, I like Scissor. Uh, Have you shot Scissor before? I have photos of her, but okay. nothing like nothing published. Yeah, nothing. What well, happens when you get an opportunity ago. like with someone like Scissor, like a star, and you flick up, and the shit is just like not hitting? Does it like? Are you like bummed I, out or? I don't think that ever. No. Happened. What you mean not hitting? Because like, you, you said you've never, they've never been published, right? Like we've never. Oh, that, like that's because it was just because it was. Um, why, Gunner? It was. I want to see Scissor. I love her because it was someone else's shoot. Oh, oh. interesting. So How does that, that work? That, that's the etiquette. Yeah, I wouldn't want nobody coming to my shit and right. taking a photo or something. Excuse like, my very horny for SZA friend. Yeah, no, no, for sure. <laughs> but you were st- but you were invited on set still. Nah, right? uh, uh, this is a long time ago. She was doing like a commercial. Um, I'm not trying to start beef. I'm actually just curious logistically. Like, nah, I think she was doing like a commercial or something, and I just happened to be there. Mm. Oh no, no, Metro's in the commercial as well. Okay. Mm. That's what it was. Metro's in the commercial as well. So I was taking photos of him while he was there. What's it like when you're just chilling with Metro? Yeah. Do you hit sessions uh, and shit? I try to stay away from the studio. Really? Yeah. Like, I, what about when you guys just like ride around town and get it? <laughs> uh, uh, Metro is like. Talk about the mayor. It's like. Yeah. Mr. Boomin, if you're nasty. Yeah. Metro's family to me. He's been family to me for a while. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah. We is just, he, does he suck at Call of Duty? <laughs> he does. Yeah. He's horrible at Call of Duty. He's, he's horrible at video games <laughs> in general. He's too busy making fire beats, yeah. bro. I think he's only beat. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he's probably too busy just making beats. He's only beat me in 2K one time. Oh, really? sure. Yes. How did that make you feel? <laughs> I didn't feel like it. One to like, like, yo, run it back. I'm going to whoop you. One to like 100. Okay. Damn. Do you do you avoid, I want to go back real quick, avoid sessions because like you don't smoke and like that's obviously like a big Not part even smoking. It's just like I don't. You don't I don't like a partier to me at all. Nah, I did that already. Yeah. Like, oh, you got like out of your system when you were younger, straight up. Yeah, like I spent a lot of lot of my early career, my early years in life Wanted. in general, <laughs> was in spent inside of a studio. Oh, right. right. Okay. So it's like, bro, like I don't, I don't want to see no. And studio it, I have to imagine it's hard 
to, for people to hear you speak in the studio when <laughs> <laughs> volume's on yeah. 1,000. And I'm just the quiet. Yeah, you're just chilling in the back. Have you ever yelled at someone in your entire life? Not really. <laughs> That's great. That's dude. good. That's good. Energy. No, I mean, honestly. You're, you're I probably said walk. some bad shit, but I ain't never. <laughs> but you tweeted it. <laughs> yeah, I never. I probably never yelled. Venomous, dude. Gunner, I feel like um, your swag is like, I think that's something that, <laughs> seriously, we're, we fuck with it. I think that it's like understated, but still like advanced. And it's kind of like has an if you know, you know quality to it, especially with like all the vintage tees. But what's a style phase that you've gone through that looking back, you regret mm. the hardest? Damn. Your Subi phase? You had some How you know that? on, bro. How do you know that? That's what I was about to say. Long time fans, bro. The last time oh I saw God. you was you were wearing Subies, probably. Yeah, probably the skinny jean era like that. Because I was wearing the 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 skinniest of the skinniest and jeans. like stacked. But that's like your body type. This is like a thing that I feel like yeah. a lot of people don't get. Is like you got to dress your body type to some, or you that's something to think about at least. You know, to consider. I probably mismatching designer was one of my like really like big logos. Not even big logos. Like I just trendy. I just wear like <laughs> I'm not a logo person in general. Um, but just like aesthetics that kind of clash from different designers. Yeah, like I wear like Chanel shoes or like a Balenciaga hoodie. You had Chanel sneakers. Yeah, you don't remember like the Chanel runners? Yeah. No, I know. But you were big on that. Hell yeah, I love those shoes. You still have them? Of course. I okay. to wear them. No, no, hell no. They still make them though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I mean, people's like Balenciaga still making triple S's. Like but people still like. Yeah. But, yeah. but I got like the first like mm-hmm. run like when they first first came out in like twenty like seventeen. Like guys buying women's sizes that still yes. fit them, right? Yes. What else were you doing with the with the skinny jeans with the skinny skinnies? Uh, regular shit wearing Jordan ones. Mm-hmm. Okay, but not like, a Mon- like a Montclair vest up top. Like no, nah, hell no, 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 uh, uh-uh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Let's kind of get crazy. I mean, I just no. remember your look was yeah, like Jordan ones with the skinny black subies stacked crazy, and then just a vintage tee. Yeah, just a vintage, which tea. is like an element. Like just uh, it, that's what we say. Like personal styles of journey, where like the vintage tees have never left, but like yo, it's a different cut of jean now, a different yeah. footwear. See, I got into I got into vintage. Um, I got into vintage first because I was uh, wrestling. And mm-hmm. I started I started collecting like old wrestling shit, and then like. One of my first friends in L.A. was Taco. Or Travis. Taco. Shout out fucking oh, friend of the show, Taco. Travis Bennett, dude. Yeah. The home. He's um, a big vintage. He guy. showed us. He took us in his closet and he gave us a tour. It's like organized by color. It's out yeah. of control. So, yeah. So, um, and he showed us the one, the one, the most expensive shit. I forget what it was. Oh, what, fuck, was it like was it? Yeah, he showed us crazy. Like sh- Ghost in the Shell. It was ghost a Ghost in the, in the shell. shell. Oh, fire. Yeah. Long sleeve. So when I first started He's going. white and black. That's what I first started going to L.A. Um, Trash. I was hanging out with him. Yeah. And he was taking me to all, he taking me like for all the envy and like mm. shit like that. And then that's when I really started. I was like, oh, okay. Like, I, like La Brea, like used to be like a vintage hub. Mm-hmm. I don't know if people know that. Like before, like now it's some fucking demonic. Yeah. Well, whatever the fuck. no, it's still Union, right? Shout out. Now the they homies. still got Union and Stussy over there. But oh, sorry, yeah. I'm of, oh, sorry, I'm thinking of Fairfax. Yeah, you're thinking of Fairfax, but, but undefeated is on La Brea. That massive Sto- Stone, Stone Island. Island. <laughs> Stone Island, but La Brea yeah. used to have, I think, what goes around. Used to be on La Brea, really? Before they moved to Beverly Hills, well, right probably. Next, right next to Union is that massive like junkyard of like, but it's like yeah. antique oh, signs yeah. and like that furniture and shit. So we would just spend time there, and he'll show me like all like the spots, and then I just started going crazy. Like then you dive deep, like you said. You yeah, and then Rose Bowl. I never, I never really? been. No, There's a, I've never been in L.A. Oh, that's right, you wake up at two p.m. Oh, right, yeah. Well, yeah, where's that time well, to go? Yeah. So the Rose Bowl, like it opens to the public at like it's five a.m. Right or seven like a.m. But if you're like if you're a diehard, you go at five a.m. But all the Japanese diehards have been there since like two a.m. Yeah. Oh shit! I might have to leave. Fucking. You gotta del- take that on yeah. your way to the airport. Hit up fucking yeah, Rose go to Bowl. Pasadena. Leave Delilah one and, day and, and go with, straight and to hit it with all the fucking <laughs> Japanese from say. Delilah to the Rose Bowl to LA. Yeah, I do some shit like that for <laughs> sure. I don't. I'm, I'm not. Down Yo, Gunner's built different, dude. I 100 nice percent do that. The Rose Bowl to the fucking Delta One, dude. Lay yeah. Flat. But he was showing me all the vintage shit and then. I would spend a lot of time in New York, and then I was going to the old metropolis, mm-hmm. when the small metropolis, and then, yeah, I was just... I feel like people don't like... Because when people talk about, like, cool guy vintage New York, you hear, like, Pro Cell. Fantasy. I never fantasy. bought nothing from there. I don't know why. Really? Never. No, I've never been do, in there. Dude, Brian's got the best shit, but my point no, is I'm saying metropolis I, is great. I, for, if you're just, like, a tourist, like, you yeah. don't need to make an appointment, just go to metropolis. Like, Yeah, I just go there. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. What do you think of Pharrell at Louis? Louis P. Um... Right? Yeah, yeah, that's that's 
I said, yeah, like I was like unsure. Yeah, it's for <laughs> Pharrell's like the Pharrell is goaded. He is the blueprint for a lot of shit. Um, well, when you when you're talking about out of focus and how you kind of want to like build not exact, just clothing and yeah. product, but like sorry, not just clothing, but also product in like various categories. Like I think that we think that that's why he's a fit there, at Louis, because he's exactly. not just gonna do. He's not gonna design collections. Let's be fucking clear. Yeah. But he is gonna like guide Louis into like being tapped into other sectors beyond just the shit you put on. So that's what I'm saying. I never looked at Louis clothes in the first place. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I said, I don't like logos, so right. like, you gonna see me like some monogram pants, <laughs> all logos, yeah, or something like that. I love the Louis bags. Mm. I got some Virgil first Louis Vuitton collection, like bags from that. Sick. Um, Wait, even when Virgil was at Louis, you weren't tapped into the gear necessarily. I guess there's still a lot of monogram stuff, right? No, nah, it was. I love the the Wizard of Oz Varsity. Mm. Mm. I love that. I, I love Varsity. That blue so, Varsity. Yeah, I love Varsities in general. Um, yeah, never, but because you never hooped. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're, 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 I love the. You're living out your jock dreams, dude. I love the trainers, but this is all stuff that like I visually love that mm-hmm. I personally like don't wouldn't wear. Right. Same way, like I love Rick Owens, but I'm not mm. walking around in like fucking shoulder yeah, pads. If I, gotta take a piss, yeah, right, right, right. if I gotta take a piss, I would need to. I want to take my dick out. I want to spend two minutes. And shit. Yeah, yeah. And shit. I love it's the shit. Boots. I love all that shit visually and love right. like I love when people wear it. But you like to shoot them in it. But important, yeah, what's exactly. so important and what people don't realize is that you don't, you realize it's not for you. Yeah, it's not for me. Right. So I wouldn't. But the aesthetic is you still fuck. You can so respect I, it and not have that hate in your heart. And exactly. Lambast them publicly on the podcast. So exactly. So yes, I, I, yeah. But for all, I love. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be fire. I'd love you to see what he met what he do. before. Yeah, are you like tight? Like, is he? No, I met him once. Did you shoot him or? I did. Damn, dude. I did. Okay. I met him once. Um, How fire was his skin? <laughs> it was beautiful. Yeah, uh, it does not age. What the no. fuck is going on there? Yeah, beautiful. He, that that's the third type of vampire. The good <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, for real. Do not. He does not age. One hundred percent. Gunner, if you could address all Atlanta <laughs> rappers because they are all tuned in right now to throwing <laughs> the podcast yeah. matters. And <laughs> give them some style advice. Just blanket statement across Atlanta rappers right now. What would it be? Some style advice? Yeah, because yeah, I know you see the trends. You see the Dior sneakers getting rinsed. You see the Amiri fucking jeans. I love like, Atlanta fashion. Really? I, I love it, bro. Again, this is you respecting it from afar. Not even res- yeah, respecting it from afar, but it's just I get it because I grew up here. I know what is. I I know what I know what they trying to do. How would you describe it to yeah, people what are that the aren't tenets? familiar? Yeah. Um. They still in their skinny jean, big big runner air, <laughs> the Mary. How the fuck do they fit all their money and guns yeah. in the skinny jeans? That's like the Mary. They figured it out. Mary. <laughs> <laughs> they engineered it. Michael Mary figured it out somehow. Yeah. So you can get a glick and a stack. And Amiri's got <laughs> Amiri's got the stiffy pocket. Yeah. Yeah. The Dior. They are going crazy with Dior right now. What are um, like the What are the shops in Atlanta that like? What is the um, like? What are the big like? Like obviously the mall right is huge, mm-hmm. but like what are like the like, do you, where do you shop in Atlanta? Maybe that's what I'm trying to ask. I don't really shop nowhere in Atlanta. Okay. Where do rappers shop in Atlanta? Where are, like, the institutions around here? Neiman, Saks. Okay. Great Just, like, shit. the department store shit? Yeah. Wasn't there, like... There's one... What's like, that big fuck? sneaker store? Yeah, what's the sneaker store? Sneaker store. Yeah. What the fuck? Ah, fuck, dude. Damn, what's sneaker I don't store? I they have a collab... There's like some oh I'm on my I'm on, I'm my on my near, yeah. oh yeah, the, I'm the guys who do all the Jordan collabs yeah yeah, yeah they do all the Jordan collabs but they have like, I, I never think just, they have they probably stock a mirror and shit too I think they do I never bought anything from there though have you ever been yeah I've been oh, yeah. okay never bought anything I don't really do too much shopping in Atlanta not mm. like, you shop and you travel so the so the Atlanta aesthetic is what still just like kind of like flashy like flashy like, yeah. getting money yeah. letting people know they got Hollywood baby they gotta see it right they want somebody to see that shit they going out like. Yeah, so, and when you see that, you're just like, all right, like I respect that you are getting your money, and for sure, because I'm I'm from it, I, I, right. I lived it, I know what, you know what I'm saying. What What do you think of a uh, Atlanta club photography culture? Like, <laughs> like as a photographer yourself, yes. What What do we think of like the shooters in the clubs capturing those fucking all the do- all the dollar bills flying for all everywhere. eternity? I mean, it's like sh- an important part. Yeah, of that's what I'm culture. saying. That shit is history. Like, yeah, that shit is history. Somebody gotta do it. <laughs> They gotta keep you, doing it. It's like Obama had his staff photographer in the yeah. White House. All the fucking clubs around here have their shooters. Yeah. How much would someone have to pay you? Like, what's your walkthrough fee to like bring the camera to the club and like do to that? a club? It gotta be a lot of money, bro. Because I fucking hate taking photos inside of clubs and also you want, you and just, parties. You just want to stay at home. <laughs> yeah, I want to just stay at home, bro. But it gotta be a. They gotta run you a big check. It's gotta be a huge. You check. should become a fucking Twitch streamer. Like you just stay at home. I tried it. Yeah. Oh yeah, how'd that go? 
It's all right. You got to entertain people on there. But like, people, they, they don't, they care about if you're good at the game, but half of it is you being entertained. Y'all didn't just see Kai break the record? Yeah, yeah bro. But like, he's bringing and guests in. You could bring guests in. Bring us the in. homies. I'm not, I ain't trying to be that. He got it, bro. He just streamed for the whole right, month, bro. right? Yeah, basically. He had like to be day. entertaining. Yeah. For every single day he woke up. I don't have that mentality. Do you like those anymore. guys like him and fucking... I love it. Aiden Ross and... I love you it. know, there is a... Speed. There, there is this weird subgenre of Twitch streamers where people just uh, stream themselves sleeping. Sleeping, yeah. And, and like, I see that. You, bro. Hot, but are they hot chicks? No, it's like a regular <laughs> dude. I see it. I see that. Yeah, so you tapped in? I know see? exactly what you're talking is about. It relaxing? I think so. I know. I get watching people eat. Like, I get that. Also, like, you're interacting with, like, the other chatters. You're chatting, right, right, right. Well, that's yourself, all about the like, chat. Yeah. Damn, we gotta get Gunner back on Twitch, dude. Wait, Gunner, as a <laughs> fucking Atlanta native, if we were here for one night only, like, what should we do? Like, what is the number um, one strip club for two goaded white boys with the sauce? Probably Onyx. One and a half white boys. Onyx, right? Yeah. Onyx, yeah. Is that, that's okay. Onyx is fine. That's like the big debate. Like, who's much, better? Like, better food, Onyx or Magic City? Or, Onyx, okay. definitely. Yeah. How much money do you think we'd have to spend, like, to be respected, in Onyx? Not a lot. Really? Not a lot. Okay. Like five hundred dollars. So. That's it. How much? Yeah. Five hundred. Spend much more yeah. than that. Say less, bro. The fuck let's go to Onyx. You don't got to spend it. I mean, as long as you're just not in there looking and not spending no money. Right. No, <laughs> dude. No, we're pulling up to Onyx and we shooting a movie, dude. Yeah, you know? somebody. You heard it? Yeah, yeah. You they, know, when the bands fly. How how how's the talent at Onyx? You say where? How's the talent at Onyx? Beautiful. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, at all the clubs are beautiful. Right? What's the best yeah. night? What's the best strip club night in the city? Uh, probably it's Wednesday, so just you know, just curious. They they go up every night. Yeah, mm. every night. Yeah, interesting. New York doesn't have that. Okay, strip clubs aside, so we're hitting Onyx. We're spending five hundred and one dollars. <laughs> um, <laughs> what else should we do in Atlanta while we're here? Like two out of towners that don't want to do like the tour shit. We um, fucking we already hit JR Crickets. Well, and he gave us the better Crickets. wing, American yeah. Deli. American, American Deli is better. better. Um, but we made a friend at JR Crickets, so we might have to go back and say yeah, what up yeah. to her. Give her a little smooch. Uh. <laughs> What else would you do <laughs> while you was here? Gonna smooch the chicken lady? <laughs> God damn know. right. Go to the gun range. Oh yeah. yeah. You like you, you are you guns? big? Hey what? You like the gun range? Like Yeah. Yeah. I got some gun yeah, I got some guns. Oh shit. Like, I mean, your name is Gunner. I went through like a collecting gun phase like during the pandemic. Cause that was like the only thing that was open was uh The range. Not even ranges, like gun shows, cause they all like mm. Trump. Oh, they don't give a fuck. Yeah. They Trump supporters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it ain't like You got a bazooka? No, I saw one for sale. Moon it was Raker, like Moonraker Laser. It was like three bands. Three bands for, for a bazooka That's it? for a rocket launcher. Yeah, but bro, you gotta you gotta re- you spend more on Muji suitcases, bro. But bro, I'm I sure ain't. that the bazooka reload is crazy. Like yeah, you're spending yeah, yeah. more money. That's on why I was asking. I was ammo. I was talking to. I was like, Yo, is this real? Can I really <laughs> buy this? And he was like, salesman? Yeah, you can buy this. That's he was wild. like, Yeah, like, bro, you should get a tank. Nah, I ain't Cardi's tank. got the tanks, bro. True. Oh, the, yeah. Uzi's got the tank too. Yeah, I saw that shit in New York. Yeah. What's what Uzi a, like? I know that's your guy too, right? I like Uzi. He seems like a fun high energy yeah. Kind of dude. Yeah. Yeah. What? Uh, wait. How big was your gun collection at its like most biggest? At its most robustness. <laughs> um. Also, be which what you say which gun is the biggest? I'm. I don't know. How, my guns how, large, my name. how many items were in your arsenal? Yeah. How many items? How, how many, many guns? guns did you own? Then your John Wick room. <laughs> I don't know. I need a suit. No, he like hits a button. The vengeances flip over. Yeah. It's a fucking wall of. <laughs> no, nah, I think I, I think I like five. Okay. Okay. I think. Handguns or you got a assault rifle? Nah, hand, I don't. I thought about getting those, but like, those but, are dangerous. AR fifteens and shit. Not even dangerous. Just like, what if somebody like try to do something to me? I don't got time to pull that big ass gun out. Yeah. Well, because right. you're not wearing the Amiri's. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's all for self protection, clearly, yeah. and just for as a hobbyist. But all right, hit the gun range. That shit legal here. I, you know you can yeah, talk about yeah. guns. Is the gun range like right now? Is it like a <laughs> is it like a party atmosphere? Is it like Top Shot Golf? Like yeah, some of them is. Pff, can you drink? Are there? You, they got like the one I go to. They got like a a whole restaurant upstairs. Are the strippers? No, I ain't no strippers. Yo, Bro, strippers at the a gun stripper range? gun range would be <laughs> a fucking. Yo, I thought about having rich. my uh one of my birthday parties there. At yeah, a, at a gun range. That'd be lit. yo. Keep us posted, bro. Two weeks. <laughs> yeah, we'll fly down. I <laughs> thought about wheels, wheels up. We down for this. Wheels up. Wheels I up. I thought about that. Seal team fits. All right, Gunner. It's time to move into the second uh, portion of the podcast, oh, which yeah. is. You're gonna hate this. <laughs> I'm gonna hate this. Dead ass. What? Dead ass. <laughs> Sex and dating. Sucking and fucking. Meats and cheeks. Yeah. Um, as an esteemed photographer, 
mm-hmm. Gunner Stall. Mm-hmm. What are your top tips for taking dick pics? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never took those. I ain't gonna lie to okay. you. Yeah, but as is it about lighting? Is yeah. it about angle? Like, is about you know, if I want to send one to my girl right now, like for, uh, what framing? Yeah, yeah. Because po- like portrait, you know, portrait like y'all would fit right in in me world. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. But like you, you. It's like uh, just pretend we're taking a picture of a gun. Same thing, right? Should I do point five so it like looks bigger? Yeah. Nah, fl- <laughs> I would guess just flash. I don't know. Flash. flash. Yeah. Pro flash on the dick pic. Yeah. So they can see every fucking nook and cranny. <laughs> On the meat, blinded on the meat, <laughs> dude. <laughs> blinded by the meat. Gunner, have you <laughs> ever had sex to your friend's music? No. <laughs> Hell no. I work in rap. I don't work in, in like, in like R- smooth R and B. People fuck to rap. No. Nah, yeah, I work. I, I, is, that I, rookie, is that a rookie mistake? Fucking a rap? Probably. Damn, dude. I mean, probably. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm going a little too hard if you're fucking rap. <laughs> yeah, to, to hard rock, dude. But you, I, put I mean. The, <laughs> Putting the hard in the rock and hard rock. But you've shot SZA. Like, that's like sex music. That she was there. I didn't necessarily like. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't like a. Yo, She's, hey, come like. Take is SZA single? What's the deal? You know? <laughs> you said what? Is she single? Do you think she's listening? Slide in, the, I don't know. Slide in from the. I'm verified. Account. I don't think she would see it. <laughs> she would see it. Okay. All right, Gunna. Let's move on to the next I'm a married uh, man. topic. How much money do you make? Yeah. <laughs> How much money do I make? Yeah. <laughs> I ain't answering that. Uh, what make- do you like to spend your hard earned money on besides clothes? Collecting cameras, Muji suitcases, video games, guns, video games, guns traveling. Uh, I like a good meal. Oh yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, we're we spending money on whatever the meal costs. Give us some more intel about like what you like. You like to cook at home? No, nah, like hell no, no cooking. I'm talking about like going out. Where do you like to go out? Yeah, what's what are your the, top spots in Atlanta? Yeah, uh, eight sushi. Is okay, crazy sushi what's spot. The, is there a good sushi spot at the airport? I don't, I don't know. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, I like Italian food. Mm. What about New York? What do you like to eat in New York? I'm not gonna lie. I was just, I was just telling somebody this. Whenever I'm in New York, I'm always on the go, mm. so I ain't never ever had no time to like. You got like a chopped cheese, the Aki way, and keep it pushing. Exactly. Next time we're in New York, uh, we'll take you out. Yeah, like dude. A good, we'll, and we'll like sit down, phones off, like just talking. Us, like, please, no cameras, no microphones. Um, we'll take yeah. you to some to some spots, bro. I just be getting room service when I'm in New York. Cause I oh, damn, dude. Well, that's a little bit of a waste. You're in like, you know, great I used to go city. to the Mercy a lot, but mm, yeah. they close. Yeah, true. I don't know why, but. What about, uh, okay, what's on your bucket list for travel? Where do you want to go that you haven't been yet? Um, I really haven't explored Europe. Mm. Where? What's on the hit list? Is it like Paris? No, no, I've, 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 I've been to London, Paris, and Milan. Okay, so where else do you want to go? But Amsterdam? I, yeah, I'm sorry. I need to Berlin. see. It. Yeah, I need to see all oh, of that. Berlin's fire. Madrid, Barcelona. I got this. I never. I got to yeah. see all of that, bro. This, Yo, we this just summer. went to Stockholm, dude. You would love Stockholm, bro. Stockholm. You know what I call Stockholm? The White Tokyo. Yeah, dude. Really? Yeah. You, you'll flip. We gotta go in the summer though, because otherwise, it's mad depressing. Like we were there. Is that where Lean? Hey, that's where you're Lean from. What? Is that where you're Lean? you Lean is from? Yeah, yeah. Well, he's from Sweden. Sweden. I guess he's from the suburbs of Stockholm. Mm, right? Yeah. This uh, well, uh, Drain Gang. They're all like the suburban kids, not like. They're not city kids from Stockholm, you know. Mm-hmm. Their dad. Stockholm is like really in factories and yeah. shit. Stockholm's oh, like really houses. small, um, itself. But yeah, you You're shot up. Lean's your guy, right? Yeah, I Jonathan like... Lean Doer, mm-hmm. Jonathan. Yeah, yo, shout out fucking Drain Gang. Oh, catch, catch Gunner in fucking yeah. Europe. Um, yeah, I need to. I need summer. to make it there. Let me ask you this: What Europe rapper trip. balls the hardest? Like, what you mean? Just, like what rapper is just like out here just like spending like crazy? Yeah. Like, not like recklessly and not irresponsibly, but just like is like out here just fucking letting yeah. it go. <laughs> or, or producers as well Like is it Is it Metro Is it maybe Sa- Savage feels like You could spend some bread I don't know man I don't know. You've never seen like Someone just go buck wild Where you're like This is maybe Like they walk in the store They walk in the store And like yo One of two of everything Yeah Nah hell no. Nah. Amir is for the whole gang No, 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 hell no. Nah. Nah, <laughs> one nah. gun range please <laughs> Yeah Uh uh-uh, uh nah We get I don't five really, bazookas Nah I don't really know nobody like that When you really go out with a rapper Do they pick up the check typically Or are they like a little stingy <laughs> Like yo what's your Venmo yeah. <laughs> nah, They ask you to pay Cause like you obviously got your own bread If they forgot their wallet Yeah I'll pay <laughs> How oh, often does that happen Forgot their wallet Yeah bro unquote. You're telling me 21 Savage Forgot his wallet Hey man Somebody might have forgot their wallet Yo I lost right? while spinning the block yeah, Somewhere it's real. in the car crack <laughs> How much have you spent on film In your lifetime well, That's a crazy question I'm not Too much to you. Probably like Like an obscene amount Bro you gotta be at least a hundred. Yeah, Damn. at least. That's I a, only shoot film, right. so that's I don't. Digital, right? That's a business expen- expense. Business expense right still, right but yeah, yeah, but like but still six figures at least, bro. It gotta be. He spent a chain on the Fuji. Mm. 
Yeah. He's got a camera on the neck. Is your you yeah. all that shit's in your fridge, right? That's how you store it. I, I do, but even yeah. Damn, how much have I spent on film forever? It got to be at least a uh, hundred thousand. Uh, there ain't no choice because I only shoot right. film. What's your most expensive camera? Yeah, I know these are gauche questions, but um, we're just doing our journalistic. Most expensive. Diligence. Yeah. I didn't pay for it. Who but, paid for it? Uh, Yadi got me a. Oh. Yadi got me a contacts last year. Woo. Hell yeah! Shout Contact six four five for my birthday last year. And that's like a, a um, pricey. Oh, it's like, it's brand new, so it's gross. Oh, so yeah. it was like brand new in box, box. like so it was in like from what year is like? I think it came out in like ninety eight or something like damn, that. Damn, and it was fucking dead stock. Dead stock, bro. Nobody had ever <laughs> opened how, the box. How does that shit? Is that does that give you like the best photos? Is that like yeah, your number does. one now? It, yeah, you develop your own photos? No, no, no. So you have someone do it for you? Yeah. What if they fuck it up? Like, are you pissed at them? It's never happened. Really? They're good. I, uh, lab, like it's like a yeah. bunch of people, so right. it's not okay. Like, Train professional. Have you ever thought about like learning how to do that yourself, going dark room yeah, mode? Yeah, of course. I was gonna. I was in the process of buying my own dark room Ooh, in fire. in New York. Oh shit! During the pandemic, that'd be cool. That'd but be it was tight. just like we spent all that money on bazookas, <laughs> like the Gunner's Bat Cave, dude. But it was. I wanted like a standalone store, but it was just like something probably about the size of his kitchen. Okay. Oh. So, so it was you, just like you wanted the store and the lab. Yeah, it was just like it was just a lab in like a in like a building somewhere. Got it. Got it. Got it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Word. Um, Gunner Stahl, thank you for coming onto the only podcast. Yeah, dude, we appreciate Before your time. we get you out of here, get <laughs> the bonus content. Okay. Clearly, <laughs> you're doing amazing. Um, we would love to see you do even better. Yeah. Oh, so what we're going to do is fair. offer up some constructive criticism. Take it or leave it. Highly suggest you take it. Anyone that's left it has actually failed miserably in their okay. lives and careers. Anyone that's taken it has gone on to flourish. Yeah. Um, I'll go first. Uh, this is maybe like um, like a Jimmy Gunner collabo. <laughs> Take my next fit pic. I'll even fucking tag you in the <laughs> caption, bro. Okay. What do you think about that? We could do that. All right. Hell yeah. Have you ever taken someone's fit pic before? What you mean? It's a, like, like, like if you ever if you're yo, out with you like know what a fit pic is. Dog. No, but I'm saying, but like what you like? So like, just, like if they're like, yo, flick me up, flick me up. Like, yo, Gunner, flick oh, me for up. sure. For sure. Yo, we do got to take a pic with you to promote it. We should just make him the photo credit as if he somehow, like, he, he flipped the camera around and did the self-timer. <laughs> no, nah, for sure, for sure. All right. Yo, that gunner tag goes a long way. Um, All right, I have a question for you. Uh, You ever shoot, do, like, pet portraits? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I don't like pets. He shoots right, his well, dogs, but he doesn't shoot dogs. Yeah, because I was going to say, my dog, Pepper, she needs a new headshot. This could be, like, a burgeoning part of your fucking repertoire, bro. You're shooting pets. What kind of dog is it? French bulldog. Oh, fire. She's gorgeous. Just like uh, two chains. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, think about it, bro. I mean, listen, that's, think about it, that's a whole, a whole sector. Species that you have True. yet to tap into. And all those dogs have owners. What does it and all do? Those owners. What's the uh, Anchorman 2? Ron Burgundy? No, the uh, when they punted the dog off the bridge. That's no nah, Paul Rudd when they was when they was getting the gang back together and they was like, oh, he hit it big time, and then he was photographing cats. Oh, that's, that, was, yeah, that's that could be you. Honestly, that could be you. <laughs> they was like, oh, you didn't hear about him? He hit it big time, and then they cut to him like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right, photographing cats. Gunner Stall, where can the kids follow you on social media? Yeah, uh, if you type in Gunner and see anything pink, that is me. Okay, so, I believe it is Gunner Stall dot dot US. US. That's the Instagram. Gunner Stall, who guy has the the actual tag? Some dude that yo fuck that guy. I've threatened him a million times, like <laughs> Wait, some fucking him? Some bro, Icelandic hockey player, you know, yeah. because it's fucking... because it's not because like is he has the Instagram right? Is he active? Every now and then, but mm. it's like it got to the point. I was like, yo, and then I was like, he didn't ever say anything. I was like, yo, bro, I literally pay any amount of money, like yo, like. Yo, yo, like kept yo, and then I was like, bro, I'm gonna fuck you up. Like, just <laughs> like you're not even responding. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, Damn, did, he, did he did he see them? No, bro, he's not. Tell even... Tell him you got fucking shooters. I have 21 leave a voice note. That'll scare you. Yeah, bro, yeah, he's dude. literally will not respond to That's me. That's bro. Uh, Gunner, do you have anything that you'd like to plug that you'd want the kids to check out? Um, plug. Uh, I don't Meat know. World. <laughs> yeah. What's like your what's your fucking <laughs> gamer tag? What is it called? Your just Gunner. Okay. It's a, it's oh gunner. shit. Yeah. So if okay. you see him in fucking Call of Duty. Yeah, if you see him in a yeah, Call of Duty, you're about, yeah. to, get about to get fucking smoked. Yeah, you is. Gunner, thank you for coming. You're the man, bro. Great to see America. you. Thank you so much, Jeff. Take us out.